Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another stream. Today, we have some very interesting news. Uh, I was talking to Josh earlier. We were texting, and um, he's like, yo, we got some interesting stuff to talk about today. I'm like, what? First of all, he mentioned something about Book of Boba, which right now I'm just going to pause on. We'll talk about that later. But he said that something is coming with the new sequel trilogy for Star Wars. And I'm like, don't tell me anything about it. I want to know what it's about live on air so we can react to it and, and see what it's really, uh, what these rumors are. Apparently, it's a rumor. So, Josh, go ahead. Yes, yes. And I can feel the excitement from the chat uh, already. Everybody's really, really amped up. So that's cool. Um, so this is a rumor that I think actually makes a lot of sense. But it is that Lucas film is in the very early stages of developing another trilogy of movies and it will act as like a second trilogy for the sequel characters and perhaps that will be how the skywalker saga ends and you know i had actually heard this sort of spread out over the course of the year in many different ways and especially within the last couple of weeks i got a lot of people saying that that is the way that they're going to go. And in fact, there is a lot of buzz around the idea of Ben Solo being a part or maybe even a focus of this next trilogy. Um, so, let yeah, that's sort of the main the main thing. I just, we can just kind of start dead. there. Yeah, well, let's start there. So let's just start at a base level. I just want to know your thoughts on this just in general before we get into Ben, because obviously, okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so everybody knows my thoughts on the sequel trilogy. Um, I don't see them as canon in my mind. I see them as um, just like a fan fiction that, you know, Disney made for some money and they completely shit the bit on it. That being said, if you enjoy it, best of luck to you. And I, I'm glad you enjoy it. And I wish I could enjoy it too. But uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not there. Um, no hate. So, if they want to make episode 10, 11, 12, um, play, what are they going to do? Like show Ray as a older force user now, and she's training yeah, like the whole thing over again. Like what are yeah, we, so and how are they going to show Ben? He's dead. He was the cool. Kylo Ren is one of my favorite characters in all of star Wars. Okay. So I'll say yeah. that much in all of star Wars legends, Canon, everything. So if they bring him back, I'd be very interested. Hopefully yeah. they don't shit on his character again, but how yeah, yeah, the yeah, heck yeah, would yeah, they yeah. do that? He's dead. I know, I know. So there's a lot there's a lot going on in what you said. So first of all, let's talk about just the sequels in general, right? Because obviously the sequels a big sticking point for many people. There's there's a lot of folks out there that want the sequel trilogy to be retconned or they want it to just be completely ignored. They want to just go shout out to the places. Knights of Melvin. So shout out to, to the, the Knights, Knights of Melvin. Melvin. You know what I mean? I was so sorry to have Become to deliver Knights. this, uh, this, you know, rumor out there. Um, you know, cause I knew that the Knights were going to be a little upset about it, but so obviously that is out there. I don't think at this point that Lucasfilm is blind to that. Right. If we look at a lot of the things that they've been doing in like merchandising and stuff with, you know, the Filoni verse, et cetera, et cetera. There's an obvious, to me at least, shift towards wanting to please the fans more. I think they learned this lesson much too late, but there is sort of a new effort in to pleasing the fan more. I guess I just wonder a, a couple of questions. Do you, would you want episodic films to really end? And do you really want The Rise of Skywalker to be the end of the Skywalker saga? No. Yeah. I don't want Rise of Skywalker to be the end. Well, to me, the end of the Skywalker saga, and listen, guys, I understand that um, many people disagree with me when I say that I don't like the sequel trilogy and I don't see it as canon and this and that. I recognize that it is canon, okay? But in my mind, in my head, canon, it's something different. So for me, I don't see episode seven eight nine as the end of the skywalker trilogy i see it as um a fan fiction the end of the skywalker trilogy in my mind is when luke looked off into the forest on the forest moon of endor and saw his father yoda and obi-wan and it ended with the ewoks dancing that was the end for me yeah so for them to go on and and try to do an uh, 10 11 12 i mean i'll watch it of course but what's left um yeah you know the the only thing that would keep me interested is kylo ren 
Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I guess we could kind of, sh- and it's interesting. Like I totally get, I get what you're saying. Right. And I think that would ultimately be where a lot of fans are. And honestly, when I heard a lot of these different rumors, I was like, bro, for real. Like, I honestly feel like a lot of the fans and, you know, we'll see it tonight, of course, but a lot of mm-hmm. the fans will reject this idea. Right. They'll just reject this idea. At I reject this idea. Yeah, well, at face, right? You're just like, no, nah, yeah. like I don't, I don't really want it to continue, and I totally understand that. I think that it's a, honestly, it's a pretty bold and ballsy thing for them to do. If they but, do this, this is a, this is a rumor, by the way, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but, it's a, it's a rumor. I mean, like, I think, I think that as far as, and and I don't know for sure, right? But for, as far as what I understand, it's definitely something that they're working on. Of course, you know, from my source, dude, trust me, bro. And according to do trust me, bro, you know, they're, they're doing, they're doing certain things, right? I've got a lot of do trust me, bros too. I got, yeah. Everybody should yeah, have a few of them. Yeah. You know, Everyone's got to do them. Yeah. You got a few. Uh, so who knows for sure. But again, I've heard, I've heard a lot of buzz about this, you know, going, going way back, you know, one of the things that I heard a lot around the end of the rise of Skywalker, because it's, I don't want to paint the picture that it's like, I don't think Lucasfilm is necessarily a divided house. But I do think there are many people at Lucasfilm that weren't super down with like I think what they are in the sequels. I think they're divided. I, I mean, divided for sure. Divided any more than any other studio? I'm not so sure. I but I guess my point is there are definitely people within Lucasfilm that have an issue with certain things that were done. Mainly, I think just giving the story to like Ryan and to JJ and kind of letting this back and forth thing play out. It's not really a, a good mm. story. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and so if they had an actual story and something that had an actual plan and they had an interesting and also believable way to bring Ben back, I honestly think like as crazy as it is and as many people that would reject it at face value, I actually still think it might be the best way forward for Star Wars as a brand. And I actually do think those movies will will make buku bucks. Now, will people... Yeah reject them or you know will people think they're great I, I i think we're way far away from that we're just talking about even the idea of it right but that's what's fun about what we do is we can speculate about you know how that would work as far as ben bro ray is literally brought back to life in that movie in rise of Skywalker. <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. Like, so so what they they start off that let's say they start off 10 they like go back in time or whatever because now they're like or they're starting right off when it when nine ended yeah. Ben's laying there and freaking the ghost of Palpatine comes up to him again and just like gives him a little shock and he's like <gasps> yeah boom episode 10 starts it's like Dude, what right i mean look they they can all you know they can legitimately do almost anything that they want to do right but i think they, they already did yeah they already they did. did they three did three times yeah. they did like a yeah. lot <laughs> they did a lot bro they did a lot of wild stuff you know what i mean I, I, you know i would say just take that money take that time and put it into making the thrawn trilogy a real thing i think that's going to happen as well you know what i mean but my thing is this i do not want rise of skywalker to be the last of the skywalker saga i don't want it to be that i want something else and it really feels like there's a lot of stuff that was left off of the table and sort of like if we go back like what's one of our favorite things to do one of our favorite things to do is to talk about what the other trilogy well yeah for sure (laughs) but like what the other trilogy would have been what george's stuff would have been you know like what uh colin's script would have been we we love the idea of how it could have been differently right like that's fair point right we love yeah that's what we do yeah Yeah. Yeah. so what isn't there a way that you could make another trilogy that i don't want to say necessarily redeems this trilogy because that would be that would be pretty tough to do, but instead at least puts star Wars itself and some of that lore back in a better spot. Like, honestly, for me, bro, like I want to see the last Skywalker as in Ben, and I want to see him actually having like a hero arc. I remember when Mm -hmm. we were in the heat of sequels before the last Jedi, right before the dark times. And one of my favorite theories was that we were actually going to get six movies with Ben and they were going to do what they did with Anakin, but sort of in reverse, right? Where like you get three movies with Anakin as Vader, then you get three movies with him sort of as a, as a good guy, knowing that he will fall. I always thought it would be a great parallel because these characters are parallels of each other. If we had Ben have a whole trilogy of sort of like being heroic and, and you know, something of that regard. 
And honestly, man, like for me, as wild as it seems, because I've been thinking about it for a long time, you know what I mean? Like I've been just like, wow, like how would this go? What would what would happen for me? I think it's legitimately one of the best ways they could move forward if they want to continue to, to make big, big Star Wars movies. Because I'm sorry, there is just something about an episodic film. Like, I like Rogue One, mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm excited for Patty's movie. I'm excited for Tyka's movie. But, bro, it's not going to be the same if you don't slap an episode on there. If I'm not feeling like this is a continuation of that epic saga of these characters in this family, right? Like, it's not going to – it's it's just not going to hit the same way for me. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you think about that kind of idea of, like, paralleling what they did in the prequels in the OT? Yeah, that'd be cool. Look, I mean, I'll be heavily invested if it's going to be all about Kylo Ren. If it's all going to be about Ben Solo, then that'd be sweet. I mean, they could go, we could have, we could even have Ray super old and she's uh, telling campfire stories to like new baby Jedi younglings or whatever, or, 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 um, Padawans and knights, you know, around her. And she could be, the whole trilogy could be her just reminiscing and telling stories of old. Right. And we could get essentially flashbacks. Uh, kind of like the Princess Bride, you know, um, of the prequels or the originals and stories, maybe even where the the Force ghosts show up and and they're telling the stories and they chime mm -hmm. in and um, they're narrating the whole thing. I mean, that could be a possibility. It won't even have to be really necessarily going forwards. It could be going backwards through these new characters that, telling right. stories yep. but i doubt they would do something like that they, they i don't think so i, I, yeah, I don't think, think so from what um, and again it's all rumors right but from what i heard it really would be a continuation and like i mean look i don't know how unless like ben's gonna be a force ghost the entire time i think they're talking about literally some kind of resurrection you know what i mean it's something like bringing him back uh in some way which would again that would be pretty wild but is it really more wild than like what they do with palpatine and what they do in the sequel mm -hmm. trilogies in general you know what i mean yeah they shouldn't have done that with palpatine they should have just left him dead yeah and i feel like they should have just created a new villain like tor valum or you know kept that kept it with snoke yeah um keep bringing people back from the dead is, is kind of just um it's redundant. It, it sort of minimizes what you did in the previous films, you know? I agree. Well, not only that, he doesn't even get a good arc. Like, he's used in such no, a puppeteer sort of bullcrap way. that He's used, yeah. Feel, it doesn't feel like yes. palps, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, that's what I'm saying is, like, to me, as a fan who... Because, like, you look, you and I are in different spots with this, right? And that's totally fair. Yeah. That's why we love chatting it up yeah. and having differences, right? Yeah. But I think, like, you're more on the side of, like, really rejecting the stuff. I'm more on the side of, like... I accept that this is the story, but I really am left unsatisfied as a fan. And I really want them to do much, much better. And I like, was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. So like for me, bro, it's like, I wouldn't man. thought as you did. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, dude, let me take this to a, a crazy, uh, a crazy place. Cause I wanted to sort of play around with this idea. Did you know that when George first drew up the outlines for star Wars, that he had 12 episodes in mind? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we talked about this. This is on a. This is actually just put out in an article last week. It's really, really interesting. There's lines in like from Mark Hamill in 2004 talking about um, the 12 films. There's just this talk of the 12th film being a conclusion of sorts, and so you know this is obviously speculation, but I think one way to really sort of close this thing out the right way and possibly bring back a lot of fans would be to bring George back to do this last trilogy. What would you uh, say to such a thing? Well, of course, you bring George back, you know, I'm going to be happy, but um, would he come back? It's like, it, it's kind of over. I'm, I'm, I mean, they've played with our hearts so much now. I'm just like, I mean, I you think know, I trust George, Dave and John and, and that's it. Yeah, I trust Dave and John too, but I would say that from George's perspective, I mean, look, we don't know the guy, right? But like, it, it would seem to me that just kind of sitting on the outside in, he's probably not happy with where things are at. I know that he's not happy. I, I've I've spoken to people firsthand that know the guy, mm -hmm. and they're like, he thinks it's a joke. Like he does not like what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think though, if he 
wanted to and disney was humble enough to like be able to accept his help i mean look i don't think he's going to write the thing you know what i mean i don't even think he's no. going to direct the thing no. but if he came back in some way and he's like, done bro like really he he's cool. he's done with this this story is not his anymore and we've we've you know we've seen it countless times on the internet with other people who have had interactions with um, either his secretary or, you know, uh, through the grapevine of things that he's said to other people. It's, he's The dude is done. He's, yeah, so I don't he's think unhappy. he's done. I don't think he's done, actually. I think that he's going to come back, not uh, maybe not to do this, but it's fun to speculate. But uh, I think he's actually going to be involved in the Andor show uh, as well. And there have been a lot of sort of rumors about him poking around Lucasfilm way more than he used to during the uh, sequel trilogy years. Of course, this is all rumors. That'd make me very happy if it's true, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 what I'm thinking is that, look, for me, like, I always like to put my business hat on here, right? And I'm like, okay, if you're Disney, what do you do? Because you do have a mess on your hands, like whether or not, you know, they're fully willing to acknowledge where it is at. I mean, you and I live this stuff. We know where it's at. You know what I mean? It's on yeah. shaky ground. So if they could see a way out of this where they bring George back and they have some kind of a conclusion that gets his blessing, I think it would go a long, long way for many fans to sort of come back and, and give that a chance. If it had an actual plan and a well thought out ending and it set Star Wars back on the shelf, so to speak, in like a good way, in the way much sim more similar to... Um, you know, Return of the Jedi, then I think, honestly, that could be one of the best, the best ways forward. You know what I mean? Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, episodic films are just over and you're just going to kind of fill out different parts of canon and like build your stories here and there, which is fine. And you can do that. But I don't know, man, like I, I don't like the idea of them. Like, I, I really don't like the idea of the sequel trilogy being the last one. You know what I mean? It doesn't even really make sense when you think about it. Like, if Star Wars is poetry and it's supposed to rhyme, like, it's an odd number, right? Like, it just doesn't even, it doesn't feel right. Like, it feels so tacked on that I almost feel like you need to continue to tell this story for it to even work as a part of the canon at all. Um, but yeah, that's that's just kind of where I'm at with it. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I spent like five years being being super optimistic and you know uh, trying to convince people who uh, were where I am right now um, mentally with the sequel trilogy that no, there's a plan. It's going to be all. You can even go back into my old videos where I'm discussing the sequel trilogy, and I'm like, guys, trust me. Like, there's a plan. There's. I was so um, enamored with Lucasfilm as it being you know this like superhero of a company since I was a little kid. Uh, and thinking that, no, everything's going to be cradled and taken care of and there's an idea for everything and there's no way that this can't be true. There's, like it's, And then I eventually, you know, realized. And so at this point, I'm just broken. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what? Even if they do get George's endorsement, it's going to be some some half-baked, like he endorsed like one line or something and then they just go ahead and they change everything the day of filming or I, See, I'm I don't, I'm that, pessimistic that, now. It's that's unfortunate. Not possible. That's not possible, by the way. George is not going to come. That's the whole reason he. They did won. that though. They were like, no, like yo, we'll, we'll, yo, sell they, us, sell us Lucasfilm. We'll use your treatment. Blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. He writes episode. But they yeah, he writes use... episode seven, eight, nine, yeah, yeah. and then they freaking throw it in the dumpster. Yes, they did. They did. But. <laughs> But that's, that's why he will never come back to do just it. Like, he's not going to pull that shareholder like, hey, put my name on it sort of thing. Like, George would never do that. No. If he comes back, it means something. And how do we know it means something? Because he almost, as vocal as he can with signing a non-disparaging clause, has been against the sequel trilogy. He doesn't show up to the premieres. He he says the weird comments. He is yeah. begrudging the trilogy. If he comes back, bro, it means something. And that's testament to his character. So there's no way he's going to come back and just put his name on something. And let's yeah, but the mouse no shows way. us shows us what they want us to see. Of course, yeah. As all great companies do, you have front facing PR for sure. Um, and look, I get frustrated with you know Disney's PR as well. But like to me, like again, like I don't know. It's look, it's obviously a super contentious thing, and I think that they're going to have to win people like you back over, right? You know who uh, I am. You know, you know what just occurred to me. You know who I am. Hmm. I am. Uh, you saw the you saw the Incredibles. I'm the freaking I'm the freaking villain who idolized uh, Mr. Incredible. Okay. And 
and was like, Mr. Incredible is the most amazing thing in the galaxy. And then eventually you turn mm -hmm. into the villain. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me, dude. Yeah. I thought Disney was the most amazing, like honest, pure company in the world. And then you grow up and you realize Santa yeah, Claus yeah, yeah. is not real. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I mean, look, Disney is obviously super flawed as a company. They do a lot of horrible stuff. But honestly, most, uh, a lot of big American companies do a lot of horrible stuff, to be honest with you. Um, but going back to this sequel trilogy continuation, if they threw George in there mm. and they had his seal of approval, would you not be excited, sir? Would you not be excited? Yeah, of course. You mentioned George's name. I'm excited. You know, it's... yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah, my yeah. hero. I think uh, I think that's the way forward, man. I mean, what uh, what do you think else they should do? Would they just because the other route is they could just do some sequel trilogy content, you know, just go away. I mean, do you, are you really okay with no more episodic stuff? Like you don't want episodic stuff at all? No, of course I do. So how do you get to do. episodic stuff though without? Yeah, I, I'm I'm Orianna. super sad that you know episode nine was the end of the episodic stuff because I want more. You know, keep it going until episode twenty. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. But I'm at the point where I'm like, what, what, what do we have to left? What do you have left to go off of? Like, it's just scraps. Like, everyone's dead. Yeah. Like, it, what, what are we doing? You didn't uh, give the heroes the arc that they deserved, in my opinion. I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, look, what I more do we I, have? Look, I obviously don't uh, have. You're gonna follow Ray around in the desert for the next like 20 years, like I, I, enough for the desert. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, I mean, look, I'd be. I don't think she's gonna stay on Tatooine. She could stay on Tatooine, but if they go forward, if let's just say if this Finn stuff happens first, right, and they fill out and they establish a little bit of where Finn is out, I mean, there could be all sorts of reasons that Ben would come back. I mean, the obvious one would be Palpatine coming back, which nobody wants. Nobody wants Palpatine. To come back again you know what i mean um i don't know there's there's all sorts of stuff that they could do i'm wondering how you know how that could work with him but he's certainly the most intriguing part of uh the sequel so for me man it's i don't know how did i turn into this man i'm like the biggest critic now uh yeah yeah I'm no, pessimistic it, i'm just like what happened to me look i told oh shit i get where you're at you know what i mean i mean i do think you're you know, a little on the end yeah. of like just not wanting it too. to hear it at all. But I it's see it too. Yeah. look, I understand it. I just think that from the perspective of Disney, what do you want them to do? I mean, I that I think their best option legitimately is continuing that story, making dope movies. The the bottom line is this they've got to make it so good that people like you are like, ah oh, man, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Yeah, it's not hard. Just get people who but, actually understand Star Wars, like John and Dave. Well, I don't know. If they I mean, did episode 10, 11, 12, yeah. I'd have some faith in it. But they just keep hiring these people. Like, what was it? The, the Patty Jenkins thing? She hired someone that has never even seen Star Wars to get some sort of a uh, no, that was the creative edge or something. Yeah, that was the Acolyte. Yeah. That was Leslie uh, Hopeland or Hoakland or whatever. And who did I say? Leslie uh, Headland. Patty Jenkins. Yeah. yeah oh, right, Leslie right, right. Hedlund. Leslie yeah. Headland. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Why yeah. are you, why are you doing these things? Like just I mean, I think that I think that one's frankly thrown uh blown a little bit out of proportion. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't. You're yeah, dealing a, with, with the biggest room. IP in the world. It's a writer's room. You should be knowing of what you're writing about, not just watching yeah. the film yeah, for yeah, the she, first time. Yeah, no, I mean look, I get it, but honestly, what? that's that one's overblown, man. That one's overblown. Like one person in a writer's room that watched Star Wars for the first time going into it, that's not really that's nothing. That's Everyone nothing in record. that writer's room should be a freaking mega fan, is what should be well, happening. I agree that mega fans should be the one guiding the the ship a hundred percent. You know what I mean? I a hundred percent agree with that. I you would assume this lady, uh, whoever that person was, was hired because of her actual ability to write, you know what I mean, and not just being a fan so you you need both though i would say you need both and you obviously need a cohesive story let me let me give you an example and, and i'm not trying to toot my own horn would you say i, I have an a, a, have a um education in writing stories i would say you have been no. informed on how to write stories by your no. love of stories mm. yeah that's all you need as long as you have an imagination as long as you can see something in your own mind that's it and you have yeah. to know these stories in and out. Otherwise, 
what are you doing yeah yeah i don't know man i think i just flatly don't agree with that but i think that obviously having people that know star wars to guide the ship is the way to do it but i mean no nah, man you don't you, you can't you can't just i don't know that's a that's a blanket statement in my opinion you don't think so no man i mean look i understand what you're trying to say but no i don't agree i think that you know especially like if you bring in the right talent sometimes someone with an outside perspective that doesn't like get hung up or caught up on you know the rules of a universe they can come up with really cool ideas now they need sort of railroaded or like you know it's like taika said he needs the bumpers right so he needs the bumpers of john and dave to sort of guide him but not all fans and not all fanboys can actually do what I think you need to do with Star Wars, which is you need to walk this like line of like appeasing the fans, but you also need mm. to do something bold because if you if you just do fan service, it's just too trite. And and I think that honestly, fans no one says no, anything no. about fan service. No, 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 but that's like what you would expect from a from a fan. That's why I would want them is to do fan service. You know, no, I mean? you would expect someone who understands these characters and and you know creates a story that revolves around um, what's true to these characters, mm -hmm. which you would only know if you've been a fan of these characters your whole life. Mm, bro, are we gonna do this dance? I don't agree. I don't agree. Do you really want to do this dance? Is this what we're doing now? <laughs> sure. Sure. No, yeah, I just I don't agree, man. Like you can tell a good story and you don't need to be uh, this super thorough thought like fan of something to understand a character. A good writer can understand a character almost instantly. That's what I think makes a good, a good writer. True. I agree with that. They can figure it out. Now, the, the quality of that knowledge for sure. But that doesn't mean that you can only achieve that knowledge through being a mega fan. You know what I mean? You can achieve it. Otherwise. That's true. I agree with that, too. Yeah. But I think when it comes to something super, like if we're if if we're supposed to bake a cake, I'm not going to hire a plumber. No, like you you may be good with working with your hands. You may you understand how to you know build stuff, but you, we're making a cake here. You you need to understand culinary school. Like I would say, it's more like in the example of that lady, it would be more like hiring someone that's used to working on maybe like these layered cakes but you're working on a slightly different kind of cake, like a one particular one. And this person maybe doesn't understand the full recipe, but they make cakes. Like they can read the mm. recipe and they can figure it out. This is, it's a good comparison. I, yeah. But in my opinion, I think Star Wars is on such a different level that you need to handle it with such amount of care that it's, it's like a cake that no one, no chef has ever touched. No chef has ever uh, created before, unless you have devoted your life to understanding this story um, for decades. And, and, and you're genuinely uh, inspired by the story and you've lived off of it since you were a kid. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you don't know how to make a cake. It just means you don't know how to make this cake that well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it's a fair comparison. And I think we've got, you know, some incredible cake makers already over there and they should be the ones to guide it. But I would tell you that even like John and Dave will tell you that you need new blood you know what i mean i'm not saying you need like non-star wars fans no don't get me wrong right but you do you do need new blood you know you need new perspective and you need to be able to tell these stories that feel familiar but also kind of excite us and take us in a new direction you know what i mean um and look i have no idea how they could accomplish that with the sequel trilogy characters you know what i mean and i and i totally understand a lot of people having to hang up with it uh but i think there's honestly a lot of fans that would at the very least be interested and i think the interest would come in in a way that's like as opposed to where we're at now right where like everything like it is just kind of sealed and like you feel mm -hmm. the way you feel about it right where you're mm -hmm. like okay this happened i don't like this this happened i don't like this or this happened i like this a lot you know what i mean mm -hmm. but i don't like this as opposed to that feeling almost just opening that story back up like opening that page back up and going to a blank page it replaces that feeling with maybe curiosity curiosity paired with some trepidation sure but curiosity and i think that that's a better place for the fandom to be at than where we're at now you know what i mean you know what you know what i feel like i feel like the kids from miss doubtfire when uh, the dad can't come and see the kids anymore so miss doubtfire comes in to kind of replace the dad <laughs> and the kids are all like, screw you, you're not my dad. That's yeah, kind of yeah, what yeah. I feel like now. 
Yeah, like no, like I'm, like you're getting you're getting writers that come in that you know haven't necessarily seen Star Wars, but maybe very qualified and talented at writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, I'm just like waiting to be proven. Well, bro, that's one lady on a staff of writers. That's not the head writer of the show. She's in a writer's room. Like it, we're not meeting writers that don't know Star Wars to write Star Wars. That's in fact, I bet the opposite is happening. You know right. what I mean? That's just one isolated example. I I totally understand what you're saying, and it's ridiculous of me to even say that no, they should all be Star Wars fans. But I think when it comes down to this, you, you got to take it that seriously. It's just got to be that anal. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Look, I I'll tell you this. Like, the true state of the fandom is that that writer and saying that and like and mind you, leslie said it like it becomes i, I weird, am right? super hyped for acolyte i've been massively yeah. sh pushing Acoly acolyte for like months mm -hmm. and so when that came out I mean, i'm still excited for it i think it's going to be a banger of a show and super dark and gritty but yeah i just saw that comment and i was like huh yeah it's a little weird right it's a weird comment but again i, I and that's I only because of the whole ryan thing it's only because of the JJ thing. I mean, you have these guys that came in there and like, yeah. Look, I think a lot will be determined. Like, okay, so let's just be real. Like at face value, a lot of people are gonna reject it. But if we're being fair, reject what? Also, Acolyte? No, no, no. Like this, the the uh, if they were to do more sequels, right? People would reject it at face oh, value. Oh yeah, dude. I bet but, you everybody is like, hell no, I don't want the sequels come back. I don't know. I actually would be curious to know what the true numbers are because there would be a lot of people that would be vocally upset for sure. But I wonder how many people would get on board just at face. But regardless, there'd be a lot of people, right? Uh, I had a point and then I brain farted and forgot my point. Um, oh, here's what I was going to say. Regardless of the people that poo poo it or that uh, are not excited about, it, they'll follow every little bit of this movie. They'll follow everything, the production, the scripting, the, the ideas, the story. They'll make videos about it. They'll make content about it. So even, you know, people like you that aren't maybe down at face value, you'll watch every little aspect of the production of this sequel trilogy. And that is in where Disney has the ability to shift the narrative. If they can mm -hmm. become aware of how that works and not just lay this out, like they need to approach this from the perspective of laying out an exact roadmap that allows people like you or maybe people that are just a little bit more open-minded you know towards this possibility yeah. to have some cookie crumbs to sort of follow along like number one would be bringing george back right and then people would be like okay that's kind of interesting another one might be like hey we got this person i don't know name you know creative person that's, Do you think he would come good. back for this bro do you think you actually think yeah. he would come back for it so okay i'm I'm split on it because part of me thinks no, but the other part of me is like, I don't think, even if he does come back, I don't think he's writing. I don't think he's, he might produce. Like, he's to be honest back. with you, there's no that? way he's not coming back. There's no way he's coming back. I think it's possible. I wouldn't say there's no way. And I would say that if I were Disney, I would put a lot of value on bringing him back for sure. I would, if I'm, if yeah. I'm Disney, I would be like, you need to figure out a way because they can see the data, bro. They can see where it's at. They can see that, you know, things aren't the way that they were. This would be maybe one of their last shots to sort of like bring that back and have like everybody come back in the living room, you know, mommy and daddy are okay. You know, have like sort of a, a resolution to this whole thing. It might be mm -hmm. one of their only shots. So I guess one of the reasons that I think it's possible is that I think George probably doesn't like where things are at and he would like to die knowing star wars is in a better place literally there's part of it like that another part of it would be disney and they're like this would be pretty, probably one of the only ways that we could get some of the fans back um because of those two reasons i can't rule it out as totally impossible you know what i mean i, can't, I just can't well uh we'll see what happens i mean i i I think for him, he doesn't care because episode one to six was, you know, and Clone Wars was his project and uh, that's where he left it. And that's it for him. So um, now he's focusing on his museum. He's focusing on so many other bigger things. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably one of the most 
uh, bring George back people in the world. But um, yeah, I mean, the guy sold it, you know, for four billion. He did. Yeah, he did. He absolutely did. And honestly, it would be sort of like a, it would kind of be an L. Like, it, can you imagine, mm -hmm. like that discussion and the ability to bring him back? But you know, the truth is. Like, there's a lot of stuff that, like, outside of the narratives of, like, what's on the internet and stuff. Like, dude, George loves Kathy, bro. He loves Kathy. And Kathy loves that man. You That's know great. what I mean? So, like, you, it's great. It also means something. You know what I mean? Like, they have a relationship, a longstanding relationship. So, if this was something that could be worked out in sort of, like, a business sense, mm. it, the all the pieces are there. You know what I mean? All the pieces are there to have some kind of an arrangement, to have some kind of a deal to make it happen. I you think know. he endorses what John and Dave are doing. You know, I think he's really all about the Mandalorian, you know, <clears throat> and everything that's going on there. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see him. Yeah. But coming back to like be full on and like direct or produce or write. I, I don't know. I, I'd, I don't I'd, think he's going to look. He's not going to write. He doesn't. He probably doesn't even want to write. But you know what he wants to do? He wants to find. Uh, he probably wants to find the next George. That's he did. It's, it's it's John and Dave. You just put them into no, one person. No, 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 no. No, like. What? Look, if what they found. Saying? What I'm saying is if they found the right story and they found the right creator and that was what George was involved with, was sort of co-signing on that then that's like that's the way i think he could come back do you know what i mean dude that's dave no that's not dave I, I don't think it's dave i think look as i'm a huge dave filoni stan i'm a hundred percent a huge dave filoni stan i actually don't think he's that guy i think dave is the perfect arbiter for all of george's stuff and he is an incredible storyteller within this world and he enriches george's stories but i honestly don't think dave's the guy to 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 give us that next umph to to do right. that next thing yeah man like look there's better writers than dave for sure bro like this michael sure, Waldron but... guy like this dude is like this dude's on another level like some of these writers out there they're they're crazy good i love dave dave's Lord. not an amazing writer i mean george wasn't an amazing writer but their ability to tell stories in this realm of star wars is unmatched compared to anybody else yeah, no, I mean, they should definitely be involved. Like, don't get I mean, George, I'm George created saying, it, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, not, uh, look, I'm not saying they shouldn't be. Dave involved, is the only I'm one saying. to really carry the torch, I think. I don't think, you know, and I think John is great at making films while Dave is great at uh, continuing the story true. Yeah. Don't you? You, you I think, think someone Dave, else would do a better job? Yeah, I do. Well, okay. So it kind of, oh. it's kind of. And by like, the way, guys, we're going to get to your super chats at the end. Um, thanks for sending them. But mm -hmm. we haven't forgotten. We're gonna go through each one of them individually and uh, highlight your message. So yeah, uh, I love uh, I love Dave, and I think he's a really really good storyteller. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I think if you ask Dave, if you, if like seriously, if you got the man face to face and you asked him, mm -hmm. I think even he would tell you he's not the guy to do those kind of stories to 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 take it into a new crazy direction. He's not even really interested in that. He's probably but that's what you want. It. You, that is you, what you, I want. you want the guy who doesn't want it. What? No, 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 no. I didn't say, look, he's not the guy in the sense that like he doesn't feel like he's got the talent to do it. He's not that kind of a writer. You know what I mean? Like, I and I love Dave Filoni, bro. Like, I'm a I'm a massive Dave Filoni simp. Like, I simp hard for my man's. But I'm just saying that like he's not that guy. I really do think you need to just find somebody who has the idea that like has the vision in the same way that George was almost like nobody when he created star Wars and everybody mm -hmm. thought his project was just this weird little thing. Yeah. Like you need, you need that guy. Like you need to find the new, like weird Jack Kirby, like kind of nerdy dude or, mm -hmm. or gal or whatever. And that person needs to have, a vision that comes from kind of what you were talking about with that fan love. Like it needs to come from that fan love place. You know what I mean? And then if they happen to be a very gifted storyteller, I think that's the kind of person that's just, you know, we're just, we're just, you know, shooting the shit. That's the kind of person that I think would be right uh, to guide that force forward. And if you had John, think, John and Dave there, it would, it would be great for sure. I think John and Dave are like Goku and Vegeta and, you know, individually they're great, but together, you got freaking Vegito. You got Gogeta. 
You know, it, it's his next yeah, level. Yeah. It, it's yeah, yeah. the saviors of the universe for Star Wars. Like you can't beat them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're not together. the only talented people. True. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, I that's that's the way I would want to do it. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna bring George back, like, he's not gonna write. He might he might hand in some ideas and then try to help produce, but uh, yeah, he's not gonna write. When John, that, like, that's that's the that's the point I was trying to make with like the whole like Leslie Headland thing with with the with the writer. It's like. Mm -hmm. You need more than just someone who's talented. Like you need someone. Like it. It takes a very special story, mind to sure. understand the story yeah. and to understand each character and to know how this character would act in this certain situation and yeah. what they would do, and to the best of your ability. Is, right, but a writer's room is different than that. Like especially for a show for television. Like you're t you're just throwing ideas out. Like a writer's room is a is a brainstorm session, bro. You know what sure. I mean? And yeah, then the lead course. writer, Leslie, and whoever's going to be the showrunner, they will guide the scripts. These The writer's room's not going to write the scripts. I understand you know writers, I mean? the concept of a writer's room, but but imagine if you have a writer's room where everything being thrown out is trash. I mean, you're going to pick the best sure thing out of trash. That's writer's room, I'm going to be honest with but you. Right, you, you but, but I mean, what, what what's the best thing you can pick out of a room being with, filled with trash? It's just, you know, maybe the best item that is still trash at the end of the day. But what if you have a writer's room that has the cleanest and the best ideas thrown? You're going to find the best ideas at the top of that pile. So if you throw trash in the mix, and I'm not saying this person is going to be throwing trash. I'm just saying we need a room full of diehards who aren't trying to push Star Wars for a political agenda or for their own uh, purposes or anything like that. But rather for the purposes of what these characters would do in these certain types of situations, akin and and in honor of what George originally created in the seventies and eighties, and then the, in nineteen ninety nine, and then in the two, like that's what we need. We don't need just talented writers in Hollywood. It's like we that's a dime a dozen. I mean, to be fair, I don't actually love the idea of them chasing big Hollywood talent. Like, I'm actually not about that life. Yeah. But again, I think that the the example you're bringing up is like so blown out of proportion, right? But like more to the point, like I agree that you don't. That's the mistake they made with the sequels, right? Because Kathy went after JJ because he's a brand. She went after Gareth Edwards because he was a brand. She went after Ryan Johnson because he was a brand, and then went crying back to JJ because he's a brand. So I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like I actually think that, like for instance, um, Claudia Gray, incredible writer. I think she would have done a better job, a better job. At writing out a sequel trilogy than what happened between you know uh ryan and uh, jj right there are mm. a ton of talented writers out there that i think would be able to just nail it and write an incredible story you just gotta find one and a great story that like a great like so george is writer director right and it, it he's a, he's a different kind of cat and maybe you want to find that cat but you don't necessarily need to find that cat you could find a writer director team that can make the magic you know what i mean but yeah, I'm not about that sort of getting the the hottest new thing uh, to do it. This is why I really like Marvel because Marvel finds people before they blow up that are just super talented. Like Feige has an incredible ability to recognize talent. And when he elevated the Russo brothers who were like, they were known as like comedy television directors, you know what I mean? And to elevate them to where they're at, uh, to take Michael Waldron off of uh, Rick and Morty, like the dude just, he just, he crushes at finding this talent. Kathy mm. is really boomerish in that way where she thinks in terms of old Hollywood. Um, and yeah, I agree that that's bad, but I would say we can hope that that's not the way they would go. Well, regardless, you know what I mean. Look, uh, let, let me let me try to make something a little more, and this might be a little more understandable to to you or maybe some other people. Um, J.J. Abrams, big Hollywood name, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Created seven and nine, which wasn't really original whatsoever. Ryan Johnson, who wasn't nearly as big as a name as J.J., mm -hmm. created episode eight, which was one of the most unique Star Wars movies that has ever been released. Mm -hmm. But did it stay true to the characters? In my opinion, no, it didn't. Yeah. But it was super unique. It was super different. Mm -hmm. Its cool factor is definitely up there. They should have done a fusion dance. It would have been that would have been good. Uh, honestly, no, it would have been. It no, been. You, no, you, you should no. What you should have had was you should have had a writers' room of people who actually really love Star Wars and understand Star Wars and don't want to just propel their uh, career. And sit down and really create a plan from seven to nine 
and yeah. not make it up as you go. I agree. And yeah. give your it's actors yeah. Yeah. exactly what is going to happen to their character and not have them play this guessing game through the whole I thing. I 100% agree. I mean, look, that's, I mean, I mean that's, the, the that's whole what you thing, should right? 100%. And to have John and Dave supervise the whole thing. Yeah. But you know what? They made some mistakes and they're learning along the way. And that's why now The Mandalorian is so amazing. And and yeah, I'm yeah. sure the Book of Boa will be even more amazing. And Bro, like if I'm being Kenobi, honest, hopefully. So I was like middle of the road uh, on this project. And like, look, I love stirring the pot, right? And I love like kicking up shit, right? But right. like, you're so against it that it's actually making me more for it. I'm going to start <laughs> championing this trilogy. I, it's going to be like the thing that I'm most no, excited I'm not against it, man. I'm, you know, I'm, Bro, I'm, I'm so one of the biggest I, Star Wars fans now. on I'm, this I'm planet, which makes me super critical and makes me super. And, you know, like I said, I mean, go back five years in my channel. Like I spent five freaking years defending the sequels and trying to convince myself and everyone else that there was a concrete plan and an outline. Yeah. And I was fooling myself. Yeah. I mean, look, a lot of us were there, right? And like we all had different moments of like figuring out how how badly they tricked us. I think that most people some yeah. look, some people like, you know, like we we a long time ago we talked to like Star Wars Santa, and there's like a lot of people like him that love it and they find a lot of it's great for them. I'm happy for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, we, we don't want to paint the picture that it's like all fans feel the way that we feel. But I do think that no, they don't. Even people like Santa have to understand that like the, I think it is obvious at this point that the majority of fans, the majority, not the minority, the majority of fans have problems with the sequel trilogy. Like at this point, episode nine, if it did anything, was push more people towards the side of like, bro, what were they doing? You know what I mean? They lost a lot of people with that movie. You know what so, I, You know what the sequels feel like for me? It's And, and I forgot the name, but maybe someone in chat can help me. You know, in uh, Blade Runner 2049. Hmm. You know when uh, Harrison Ford's character sees his uh, his love, his lost love, but she's she's not really her. Yeah, it's just like a recreation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like it looks it looks like Star Wars. It sounds mm -hmm. and feels like Star Wars, but mm -hmm. something's wrong. Like something's weird. So it's like yeah. if I watch the sequels, which I I don't sadly, yeah. but if I have watched clips or whatever, I'm like it, this. It's like is it like this? This feels. You just, it's just so strange to me because it feels good, but it doesn't feel good. Yeah, no, no, dude, I get you. I mean, and, and maybe, me, maybe in 10 years, you know, I'm going to be like, holy shit, the sequels are so amazing. Like, I don't know. But, I doubt that. But I will say that yeah. I think they could, uh, they could do a trilogy that would win you back. They could do it. It's not outside of the realm of possibilities. You know what I mean? Uh, well, how many things have happened? Okay, look, if they, okay, if they want to make a sequel trilogy, here's what they got to do. They got to sit down. John and Dave got to be part of it. Okay, and they got to come you know up what? with a I concrete that that outline from the alkalite. It's also a part of it. I demand oh that she's in the room. <laughs> All right, sorry. Oh God, you know what? Anybody can be in the room if freaking John and Dave are in there because they're just going to be like, "Hmm, no, that's yeah, not true. really what we're going to do." Oh, that's yeah, true. that's a good idea. True. And and mind you, that lady might say something that would you know spark a thought from someone else and be like, right. "Oh, wow, that's a really good," idea. and they could go off of that. So yeah, it's not a bad idea, but. At this point, I'm so defeated and damaged, I feel like, that I'm like, no, no more screwing around, no more of this bullshit. Just give me a room full of people who are very dedicated to Star Wars, and that's it. Like, yeah. don't F around anymore. You've done enough of it. That's yeah. where I'm at. That's why I'm so freaking anal now, because I'm like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, I'm not playing anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. I mean, look, first of all, I too think you know what my prediction. I saw somebody chat this on the uh, on the video I did about it earlier. Somebody said twenty twenty seven, which would be the fifty year anniversary of Star Wars. Oh well, wow. right. So that's probably something. There's probably something there to that, but that's a ways off, brother. You know what I mean? So that's a ways off. So you know, if you think about yeah, this too, like years. remove, not even. Bro, that's a that's that's a ways off. So think about this. Right. Think about all the dope Star Wars content that we're both really, really excited for. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the, let's go back to the good stuff. So the yeah. good Kenobi, stuff. Kenobi, Acolyte, Ahsoka, um, Book Boba, Andor, Mando, Book of Boba, Andor. And, yeah. Visions. I mean, bro, like it's yeah. it's going to get wild. Right. So if they yeah. start pulling together the threads of uh, because another thing that I heard in the report was that they're going to tie everything to the sequels that even shows like Kenobi and Andor 
are going to have deep ties to different things that happen in the sequels, right? It's kind of interesting. I don't really know what it means. But if they do that and all this stuff for the next five to six years is an absolute banger, if that Finn show is a banger and sets up some interesting stuff that you're like, who are these other dark Jedi and, you know, this, like, what what's going on there? Then I think you're in a completely different spot. I agree with you that right now, it, there's a lot of people that were are, that are standing exactly where you are at, and it makes sense. Again, look, we're just some bros up here yelling at each other about Star Wars. It's nothing yeah. personal. It's nothing crazy like that. I understand where people like you are at, but I think it, you might be in a different spot in five years if Star Wars. I hope so. Continues to do th their thing if they continue to do what they're doing right now, dude. Imagine how happy I would be if the sequels was exactly what I wanted it to be. Oh, bro. I mean, obviously, like, that would be crazy. Yeah, I would be making like, tons. Of, like, I, I'd be happier as a Star Wars fan. I'd be more successful as a content creator. I'd be like, everything would be just so much better. But yeah. it's just not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, look, the company, they have, either way, they got to make dope stuff, right? Either way, they got to make dope stuff. I, I mean, I can fake it, but yeah, that's just no, not my I style. Don't, I don't think you can, bro. I don't think no, you can. I, think I, can. <laughs> I can't either. That's why we're a good pair. But yeah. my thing is this. I actually think it's bold, bro. Like, it, like a, a lot of people will get mad and a lot of people will be like, ah, and butthurt or whatever. Honestly, man, I think over time, if it happens and if they go this way, I think a lot of people are going to become interested. Whether or not they're interested just to try to, like, detract from it or they're going in very skeptical, they will be interested. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how these other Star Wars movies are going to do as far as interest <laughs> i don't i don't know how many people are going to be like let's go you know what i mean for taika with the star wars movie i don't know how many people are going to be like let's go for patty jenkins star wars movie i just don't know man i don't know i saw a comment that said i'm dead inside it's like i'm i'm far from dead inside uh but yeah i'm dead inside when it comes to connecting anything to the sequels because i i defended that shit for so many years and then finally you know uh, yeah like yeah yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what, yeah what what more could i say yeah yeah when I the would proof, think. you know i'm not an idiot i'm not going to be like proofs right here like even the actors themselves are saying stuff and mm -hmm. i'm just gonna deny it and be all like oh no yeah. it's there's a plan yeah they're yeah, just yeah. they're just saying that for clout it's like no it's this is what the hell yeah 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 yeah. no i mean look i'm excited and i was excited to stir the pot with this too because you know as you know as uh we have opposing views and that, I mean, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that makes it interesting look with this kind of stuff man i mean i knew as soon as i heard about it i was like do i even want to talk about this you know what i mean because i was like people are gonna be coming in hot yeah, dude, dude I, pretty, I, I, pretty fired I, up. I told but, you when you messaged me that i was like yeah. it's, it's prepared for a shit storm because yeah no, I and I think that's the thing though. I think Lucasfilm needs to prepare for the shitstorm. But I think mm. you gotta fly right through that shitstorm, brother. You gotta put the X wing. You gotta put it into hyperdrive. You gotta <laughs> fly right through that asteroid field of shit. Otherwise, I don't know, bro. I don't know if they get to the other side. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Just you know, create a, a space, trim a space between uh, everything before seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to create something between six and seven? Just do it in there, and then, and then whatever happens outside of that. Where do you think it's going? Where do yeah, you think but whatever whatever happens outside of that, you know, don't have to connect it to the sequels. Just do your own thing. Leave the sequels to be the sequels, and then create your 11, 10, 11, 12, or whatever if you want. But just like create the Thrawn trilogy within this six and seven time period, and then go outside of that. Like I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I think they'll 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 probably do the Thrawn stuff as well. But I mean, like, bro, let's be, be real. But let's be real. We can all we all see it. They're connecting it to the sequels. Mando stuff. It's obvious. That's the way it's going. You know what I mean? That's the way it's. That's the way it's gonna go. I right? hope not. No. I hope not, dude. Yeah. Let's see what the chat says. I think they're all. Let's see what the chat positive, says. It's, it's time to answer some it. super chats and uh, discuss some stuff. So let's go right ahead. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. How hyped is everybody? <laughs> Let your anger flow. Right. Snoke in high school is a TV show. That would be kind of fun. Okay. Here we go. Oh, snap. Snapple. All right. 
I'm gonna put you over here, actually. So I can see your beautiful face. Uh, and this, this is gonna update too, so where are we? Oh, geez, I don't even know where. Okay, no, that's not on. Oh, geez, Rick. That's on, that's on this video here. Okay, so first, okay, so theory could be Star Killer. Just hope they plan it out this time. She can become like sequel trilogy Luke, says Conrad. Josh, show theory the article on Star Wars. Mm, well, what, I mean, what he, knows, what he knows about it. It's just talking about how George wanted originally 12 movies. We talked about it already. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, only thing they can do is the Yuzon Vong, I believe. Right, so that's another cool thing. Yuzon Vong would be dope. I think that would be a cr dude. That would be a crazy way to do another trilogy. I hope this is not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. <laughs> could you imagine? He like helms Whoa. the next. No, he, like, no. I can tell you. Time. I can tell you that it's not that. I can tell yeah. you that. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I wish they did a Palpatine prequel and we got a Plagueis. Sorry if I spelled that wrong. Story two and so right. Like I mean, they could go back in time. They could create so many different spin-offs like i mean dude juku jedi lost is a canon novel and it's freaking beautiful um it's like the novels are better than the books you know yeah like, no, like, a lot uh, of ways sorry the novels lost. are better than the movies yeah yeah i'm just gonna what the hell is that that's a ray figure no big deal chat chat was asking to is that actually show my ray figurine yeah and there's a kylo one too We got him, boys. We got him. Should we take over? I wish I could go full screen. I wish I could go full screen and give him a little. Ah. <laughs> he got me, my man. This is what you guys can expect in uh, the next sequel trilogy. Once again, you've proved if you'll excuse me. Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, um, Illyrio says, episode 10, Ben wakes up after dying in a vision. Episode 9, and decides to tell his uncle Luke about Snoke calling upon him. Lol. Uh, which actors would want to come back to this? Right, didn't they all, like, talk smack? Yeah, and their careers are all going real great. No, I'm just playing. But the yeah. truth is, man, like, I mean... The hardest one to get will be Adam. If they do. Well, that. he was the best actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think he's done? Uh, uh, do you think he feels like it ruins his uh, career? Oh, no, 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 no. I think he actually, like, here's the thing. Well, I mean, who knows for sure, right? But I actually think that he's one of the mm. only people involved with this whole thing that could probably hold his head high. I mean, dude, his performances are ridiculous. Oh, my God, dude. They're he's, ridiculous. That guy is one of the – he's an amazing actor. Yeah, so he's probably one of the only people that got out unscathed, really, because people still love him, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if they do this, it's treason then. Uh, what's up, my fellow Knights, Theory and Josh? Shout out to Knights of Melvin. Hot toddy? Hotty toddy? What's that? Hot toddy? I don't know. Uh, theory, I'd love to see a new series on what it would be like – uh, to live on certain planets, sometimes the environments feel like... Oh, you mean like a Bear Grylls sort of uh, Survivor Man on Tatooine? That'd be funny. Bro, we should do a Survivor Man with you trying to survive if they do another sequel. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is this a thing they should let George do a general outline? Yeah. Um, I that'd mean, be great. If, if he would. But, you know, it's in that Star Wars article... He does talk about handing it off to other people too. That was one of the things. It's like he did want to hand it off to other people. So yeah, but he he handed it off to like Irvin Kershner to direct, and he still was hands on the whole time. Yeah, he's 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 one of those guys, man. He's it's hard for him to just not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Involved. So. Mm -hmm. I feel ten and eleven and twelve by Disney were always inevitable. There's too much money there. It's just a matter of execution. Folks will flock no matter what. Yeah, dude, I'll watch it even. So what 10, 11, 12 should be is do something like the Yuzon Vong, which bring everyone together, including the dark and the light, working together to defeat this enemy. That would cap off the movies. That'd be pretty wild, but <laughs> when you say everyone, everyone's dead. Honestly, what though, do? dude, 
I wish that, there's some stuff I'm not supposed to talk about, but I wish I could talk about. But... Man, get the hell out of you! Come on. Oh man. What another another dude? Trust me, bro. Yeah. So, dude, trust me, bro. Said that. Uh, I heard they shot some stuff with Hayden for Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, we knew this. Mm, I didn't know this until recently. Yeah, a long time ago. And they never used yeah, it, apparently. They never used it. There's a lot of stuff, apparently, with uh, other Jedi. Yeah, what a great decision that was. <laughs> yeah, Let's <laughs> not really. use... Well, yeah. Well, well, yeah, well done, uh, JJ. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jedi Master Cal Kestis. Mm -hmm. uh, Marty McFly and Doc Brown got to take Ray back in time to force heal Kylo or something because that's the only interesting guy that could carry 10, 11, 12. Kylo's the man. The only way I see them bringing Ben back is through the world between worlds. Yeah, but I hope not. Star Wars Theory is a Disney show, pure gold. First time catching the stream live. You guys rule. I watch all of your content daily. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Thanks David. General theory is always a pleasure. Lola, I'm with you. I walked out of the theater back then, one to six ish. My Skywalker Saga heart canon, and Sam Whitwer agrees as well. Happy note. Looking forward to the charity stream in October. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, October 15th, big charity stream for St. Jude's. Uh, my goal is to raise $100,000 for sick kids. Ben put his soul in Ray. He did what Palpy tried. Oof, I don't think so. Weird. Yeah, I don't think so. The big question is this. Will Adam come back at all if it's all about Kylo Ren and Ben Solo? Honestly, I don't know if he will and if he trusts Lucasfilm still. I'm sure he does. Adam's probably one of the most professional actors I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been real chill about the whole thing. Maria Espino says, what if Anakin, with 50 bucks, thank you, what if Anakin and Luke and Leia, along with other powerful force ghosts, help Rey resurrect Ben Solo? Plucking him from the netherworld. That can happen. And we see Ben have to really atone for all he's done and unpack all that Snoke Palp did. To... Could you imagine they like go, go in the world between worlds and just pluck him out? Well, you know, one of the things that I always thought would be so intriguing is like, if you think about, and this is sort of teased in episode nine, the idea that he is the one that could actually beat Palpatine, like he's the one strong enough, right? And so, mm -hmm. like, they play around with that idea, and at the end of the day, Ray just does it. But there was this idea in there <laughs> that, like, he was the one, and how weird and horrible that would be to have to rely on that guy. And, like, the way that the – like, there's a lot there. Like, he legitimately is just a really interesting character. I would – I would be interested in what his path would be like from that moment forward. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. I think he's probably the most intriguing character by far. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably my top five characters in Star Wars. All of Star Wars. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. I uh, I feel like what they did in Nine was pretty weird with him. There's some good stuff, but there's just like a lot of stuff kind of rushed to for him, right? Like he's just bad. Yeah, and all Nine felt really him. rushed to me. Oh, yeah, for sure. It felt like two parents were fighting over their kids. Episode 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, you can't have cake. Mom said I can't have cake. You can have cake, son. Just like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's so cool at the end of that flick, though. Like, the, the moves he was pulling off and when he does the little yeah. shrug that Han did. It was so fun. Yeah, dude, I do not deny that episode 7, 8, and 9 had very cool moves in some sequences. Yeah. Um, this is Star Wars. It's not you know just an action flick for me. So, with all due respect, how can you not like something that could potentially save Star Wars like the WBW, but it's so a world between worlds, but then be as horrified about any nine post content? Because I don't want the world between worlds to be used. I think the idea of time travel is just ridiculous. Yeah, dude, I don't want that. There's, I mean, who knows how they could actually pull it off, but yeah, that wouldn't be the way for me. Like, I'm just opening up to this multiverse thing in Marvel, you know? Yeah. I'm still, op like, okay. You don't but, need that in Star Wars. Like, no, man. It, it undermines so many things and so many moves. Um, I'm always down for more Star Wars, but please, KK, Disney, Lucasfilm, Supreme Leader, Mickey, whoever, hmm. just have a plan for where the story will go. If you're not sure, I don't know, maybe ask George Lucas. Yeah, man. Give him a Amen. call. Amen. Give him a call. Some believe that Ben Solo's soul is stuck in the world between worlds. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Mike Hamilton, thank you. How are we going to be stuck? Like, I don't know. There's something to it. I mean, look, he's a Skywalker. He's super, super strong with the Force. He was being used by Palpatine all those years. You know what I mean? Luke saw that he's had the ability to basically be the most evil villain we've ever had if he would have turned. I mean, that's the whole idea, right? That he sees that he would undermine everything Luke did and cause everyone Luke saved to suffer. So he's really freaking strong, you know? Yeah. I mean, Ray couldn't just give him like a little bit of health. Just like, hey, here's a little bit of health back just to jumpstart your heart and, and then I'll leave. Bro, it's Maybe. Star Wars, and he's on a, you know, we have no idea. Dude, there's so much they could do. You know what I mean? So much they can do. We haven't even talked about the possible Skywalker twins. Oh, you think he impregnated her with the Force? It's possible. It is possible. I don't know. We're gonna it's do about, that again. You know, it's like what Vin Diesel says, bro. <laughs> it's about family. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, thanks, Mike. Uh, Valonite says, Hey, Theory, I love your videos and streams. Don't know if you covered it or not, but what do you think would happen if Obi Wan lost to Grievous and Uta Pal? Would it affect Order 66 or Palpatine's plot? That's a cool fanfic. I'll do that. We'll get into it. Theory, what about Parallel Universe? Ezra goes in between worlds. We hear audio from all nine movies without Ahsoka. After he saves her, he changes the timeline before Luke doesn't save Grogu because Mando never meets Ahsoka for Luke to save. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that world between worlds thing kind of uh, shook things up a little bit. Chat, it's, what do you think? I think it's stuck on people's brains as a way to... It's just interesting, because even the, rec the retcon people want to use it, the non-retcon people want to use it. Well, I guess all of them want to retcon it, because they want to retcon his death. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Why don't you guys pay attention to the Doomcock leaks? Also, Josh, seeing things in Mando leading to the sequels doesn't mean the retcon can't happen. Everything could be the same up to the retcon. Uh, I don't watch Doomcock. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really watch him either. Um, I think the yeah. last I heard about Doomcock, he was, and I don't know because I don't know. It's just somebody else was talking about. It. I think he said that Kathy is not leaving now, so he's kind of flipped on that. So now she's not getting. Yeah, that's what all these channels have been talking about since the very beginning. Of Either she's leaving or she's not leaving. Like, yeah, what? I think if she, I mean, look, I personally want her to leave. I do, but uh, it's not like her leaving just immediately fixes everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I um. Thanks for being you and explaining. We don't all have to share the same opinions, which reminds me. I think you owe Josh an apology about Luke Soka. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Star Wars Theory, I can't believe that I'm going to say this, but I believe that the only way that Disney can continue with any future Star Wars films is by rebooting the entire Star Wars universe. Yeah. Do you mean all of them? Like from it's episode one? Happen. Yeah, there's not going to happen, brother. They could. The most they could do is do a super skip ahead and, and tell stories in a new era or something like that, which mm -hmm. they could do after they finish up this nice other sequel trilogy. You know what I mean? I mean, look, it's, we'll see. It's a rumor. So much more story could be told if Lucasfilm would just do epic-style TV series for their projects, similar to Game of Thrones. Well, that's what they're doing. That's literally what they're doing. Yeah. Doomcock is fake news. Stop listening to a guy that makes up rumors. Sub to the Knights of Melvin. Yeah, um, whether Doomcock is fake news or not, I don't know, because I don't watch the guy's channel. I don't watch any Star Wars YouTubers' channels. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. Rum rumors are rumors. I will always, if like like tonight's video is a rumor, so yeah. we're like we never will claim something. I'm not saying this is what him or anyone else does, but we'll never claim something as fact unless uh, yeah, unless it's actually been announced by Lucasfilm. So everything is always a rumor, and you know, on this show, on this podcast, we just. Give our takes on it as two uh, two diehard nerds for a world that we love, a universe, a galaxy we love. That's all it is. For sure. Um, please read my super chats. I hope it wasn't a waste. Nope. We are getting through it, Matthew Jones. We are getting through it. 
Um, Benjamin Reese, so much more story could be told if right. If Kyle Katarn ever gonna put into ever gonna get put into canon, or is canon just as replaced? I don't think he's gonna huh? get put in. Finn is Kyle Katarn. Like you Finn think? is well, yeah, he's he he's like a Kyle Katarn type character. So I'd love to see uh more of that, you know. I just Ben Skywalker from Legends, my fave character. Me too, Mohammed. Me too. God, I hope not, says Casey. Mike sends another five. Continue with what it's not even canon. George Lucas can't associate himself with garbage, lol. Yeah, I think so too. It's not a great solution, but the world between worlds could be a work around for bringing the dead back. Thoughts? Again, I just don't want them to even touch world between worlds in live action. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't either. It would be fascinating. That would be like incredibly ballsy. Like super ballsy. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, when they even did that in the comics with Lord Moment, I was like, huh. it's a little, yeah, it's almost like because it's, it's a comic weird. book, you can kind of deal with it because you're yeah. like, well, they need to do crazy stuff to sell these. Yeah, people. comic book is like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Whatever. KK and JJ won't touch another Star Wars trilogy. Trust, trust me. But I trust, dude. Trust me, bro. So, um, TT Elf, TT Valve, thanks. A good storyteller is a good storyteller. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter their background. That's true. Dorian Trussell says, Josh and Theory have the most interesting discussions about theories. Nerd theory is the best. Excelsior. Hey, chat, is my... Uh, so I don't know, whenever I talk on StreamYards, my microphone sounds blown out a little bit. StreamYard sucks, bro. Yeah, but yours doesn't. Yours sounds fine. I don't know. It, I mean, we've had problems with it in the past, too. Mm -hmm. well, do you have the Jared echo thing on? The echo relief? Um... Yeah. Uh, echo cancellation on. Should it off? Is it better now? Uh, no, 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 no. Put it back on. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's back on. Yeah, it's much better now. <laughs> Automatically adjust the mic volume. Should I turn that off? Okay, what about now? Is it better? It's pretty good. Pretty clean. Oh, is it? Yeah. Should I turn it up? Uh, okay, now it's off. Yes. Is, it too, is this too much? No, it's, it sounds good. Sounds good. Chat, does it sound good? Sounds good to me. Does it sound better than before? Yes. Did you put up a poll to see how many people want this trilogy or, or don't? Oh, no, I could do that. Sure. That'd be kind of fun. Everyone says no. I want to see what it actually is. Because I'm lied, really interested. Josh. You lied to me. I wonder if it's uh well they might be behind it might be behind. Uh, hey, what about what about now, chat? Does it sound okay now? Am I low? Josh is low. No, Josh is good. What are you talking about? Now they're just messing with us, bro. They're just gonna they're just gonna meme us. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new mic. Shit, dude, they're just memeing you. Your mic's fine. Wait, they're trolling. What the hell happened to my interface? Huh? Oh, it's over there. That's fine. It sounds good. Okay, it's fine now. All right. Yeah, chappy okay. line, bro. Chappy line. It's probably just behind. I completely agree that they need to know Star Wars, but invested in it, the genre, and drop the Skywalk idea, lest they scrap seven, eight, nine. Thanks, Mike, again for the fiver. Uh, hey, theory, keep your eye out for a PlayStation showcase this Thursday. May get some new Spider-Man. Oh, really? I mm -hmm. hope we get uh, God of War. M, what's going on? You can't write a Star Wars story if you don't know Star Wars writing abilities and creative merits don't matter. If you don't know the universe or characters, how can you do them justice? Fans are doing better than the pros for a reason. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I buy into that. Yeah. It is wishful thinking for George to come back. He would Hell risk yeah, having is. all the stress unless this is a unanimous support. I don't see it happening. I don't either. I'm with you. Yeah, Universal. it's a long, it's a long shot for sure. It's a long shot. And that's not anything I heard, by the way. That's just speculation. On Billy the Kid Lawrence says, uh, damn it, you guys, now I want cake. Jared says, furthermore, I do think they have hired plenty of writers without the knowledge of the franchise. Many of the newer books have shown it. We can't continue, we can't continue the sequels as badly mashed together, they turned out. Hmm. I mean, I'm not reading a lot of the new stuff, so he might be right. I don't know. Hmm. They probably have out. hired a lot of writers without the knowledge of the franchise. For the High Republic, maybe. Yeah, which I still want to read. Like I'm I'm I haven't given it the time it deserves. 
Hmm. And that's why I haven't said anything about it, you know, because it's like I don't want to yeah. trash talk or up talk something that I don't know about. Yeah. You didn't finish it still? Oh, no, I'm really not interested. I mean, like, I'll I'll get the broad strokes of like what happened in canon or whatever. But no, nah, like, I'm not I'm not really interested, which to me is like that is look like you know as much as i you know i'm defending this this idea or whatever like i am one of those fans that's in a totally different spot with star wars as to where i was like i understand it better than anyone you know what i mean like you and i are very similar that we spent a lot of money and time and energy in a lot of these books you know the the art books i have all the art books for all the movies you know what i mean like i have everything but at some point and it really did happen around episode nine that stopped and now i'm just not engaged you know what i mean like i that's not like i don't particularly care what's going on in the comics i don't particularly care what's going on in um mm. uh you know the novels the high republic like they would need something to reinvigorate my excitement for what's coming and i'm excited about john and dave stuff but like bro like they are just yeah oh thanks andrew i never got a super sticker at that price that's cool I don't even know what is it doing. I don't even oh, see it. If you look at the live stream, it's uh, it's like a uh, bear or like a, a bear dancing. No, he just says he's like uh, waving two little wands and says you're amazing. That's cool. Nice. I never get super stickers. It's it's usually a comment, which is sweet, but it's always yeah. cool to see the super stickers in there. That's sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. So thanks, Jared Hill Bopper says. What Disney did was they bought a successful restaurant, changed the menu, then wondered why the regular stuff came. I couldn't have said it better. Yeah. I know that's a really fair point. A hundred. That is a good point. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's Christina. A, it's an absolute fair point. Mm -hmm. I think I George saw Alex, has Alex Becker made that point back in the day, if I remember correctly. Who's that? Probably, he's a YouTuber. He was he used to make Star Wars videos. Now he does like crypto stuff. But oh, okay, uh, George has been on set of the Mando quite a bit. So so that's yes. Teaser, yeah. Yes. And that, so that gives me some some good vibes. Vincent with the 499. Thanks. But doesn't say anything. Big Stevie W says, if you've watched Josh long enough, you know he's trying to tell us what he knows without a flat out telling us. George Lucas is a lock to be involved. Never said that. Definitely didn't say that. That's definitely not what's going on. But I will say this it is the smart move. Van Quiz. LeBlanc, Le, Le, oh, I don't want to butcher that. Le, LeBlanc, I agree with both of you. We just need to find people who are passionate about Star Wars. Yeah, that's really all it comes down to. Maria again says, with Dave Filoni and John F. leading this trilogy, I 100% guarantee that they would make George Lucas executive producer of all three films, no doubt. And Dave Filoni is the head honcho now as executive creative director. He is. He is. Yeah, I mean, if george came in there they would just lay the red carpet oh yeah josh looks like george lowell says zach zach a little, little bit zebra says guys it's simple you do not make episodes 11 12 and 13 and make an old republic trilogy it would make more it would make way more money and redeem star wars I, look i get that i think they gotta go right at it they gotta go right at the problem it's ugly but you got to go right at it. That's my opinion. I don't think you can dance around it. You know, man, if someone from Lucasfilm was just like, hey, they, let's say they released a video on all of their Star Wars social media accounts. Be like, Look, we know we made the sequel trilogy and there's a lot of uh, division in the fandom. Mm. But we hope with our future projects that we'll be able to unite the fandom as it once was. Yeah, they'll go a if long it ever was. Way. But they'll you know what I mean? A long way. Yep. Yeah, that's all they got to do. They don't even have to say like, hey, it was shit. Like, because yeah, it wasn't, because there, there were so many people that really loved the sequel trilogy, but then there are people like me who defended it for so many years, and then they're like, eh, now they're just like, okay, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. And then there's people from the beginning who are like, this is shit. Yeah, there's people that hate all of them. You know, there were people that hated Force Awakens, and then they were just so happy that people hated Last Jedi, and they were like, let's go, we got more people to party with. You know what I mean? Like, there True. were people that were anti this from the start, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Chris Avalone uh, uh, read a whole shelf of Star Wars books for KOTOR 2. We need people like him. Josh is saying Dave is Tim Cook, and we need this next Steve Jobs. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a great point. If 10, 11, and 12 get made, Disney needs an actual plan, consistency with one director and a good story. 100%, brother. That's Jack says, theory, night me so I can help with the spammers and trolls. Sure. Where are you? Anyways, um, Dave Filoni isn't a Kevin Feige type of per person, and George Lucas is looking for a KF of his own, and I'll throw down my backing that Bob Chapek is looking for that too, someone with that type of business savvy. Who's KF? Kevin Feige. Oh. I think. I, I mean, I, I don't know for sure. but Mike Hamilton says, will you actually acknowledge Super Chats or just ignore them like Disney ignores the expanded universe? <laughs> What do you think I'm doing? I know, right? Imagine sending that and getting it read. Don't you feel dumb now? The hell? Yeah, so, does. yeah, we're, we read Super Chats at the very end of the show because uh, we just want to keep the conversation going fluidly. And then, you know, we'll just, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. honor the money that you send in to us. Thoughts on the upcoming Ahsoka show, good or not? I think it'll be great. Yeah. It'll go after Thrawn, show Ezra. That would be oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Star Wars needs to seriously introduce the multiverse. What are your thoughts? Mm, no. no, sir. Keep it as one universe. No, sir. Yeah, it's a totally different vibe, man. Marvel's poppy. It's just like a Marvel's like a video game. It's like you yeah, die. It's a you comic re, book. You, you respawn. You die. You respawn. It's yeah, like it's a comic book, dude. Yeah, Star Wars is not that. How would you all feel about a Dooku show set when he was a young Jedi? But yes, sign me up. One hundred percent. 100%. Star Wars needs to focus on the Mandalorian and the standalone shows that are coming. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, hey, Theory, you should contact Lando Sabres about participating in the fundraiser. He's a Saber YouTuber who has raised over $1,000 for St. Jude's before. He's one of the most authentic guys on Earth. Cool. Fans like you, too, and have written better than what was released, and you are both mega fans, and you understand the stories. Like the guy who deep faked Luke better. Yeah, that guy works for them now. And if they <laughs> found someone, look, I'm again, again. Ah, never mind, never mind. What? No, I'm just saying, like that's that's what they did with Shamuk. They found a guy that's out there that's good at what he does, and they brought him in, and he does it better than anybody there. And if they did something similar to that, it could be a very successful way to get uh, some good talent. So ask the uh, just put the poll up. You guys can go vote on it right now. Yes, I want to know how many of you really don't want this trilogy. With the aging tech getting better, how much more to more Morse and Clone Wars content could we get? Probably unlimited. Even if it is an era well documented, there's a lot of stories and different Jedi and clones you could explore, or young Boba. Yeah, or young Anakin between episode two and three, or between episode one and two. There's so much sequel merch just sitting on the shelves that they put that content in the shows. It has to sell, right? Ah. We need the movies to focus on the wills of the Force, World Between Worlds, Loth Wolves, Father, Son, and Daughter, and focus on making Rey the Chosen One take Father, Spot, Ahsoka, Daughter, Pap, Son. Stuff sounds fun. What if they jumped ahead, chapters, do episodes 16, 17? What the freak? No. No way they won't want that. I mean, they could put a through line and eventually get to that. You know what I mean? Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Oh. Uh, okay, hold up. I got to refresh. You know how funny it's going to be if, like, five years from now, they do this. And you and I revisit this stream and we revisit the feelings and the thoughts that we had right now in five years time you know what i mean like isn't this going to be kind of fun i guess <laughs> my man my man that's that's the i'll take it i'll take it uh, i lost where i was it's gonna be cool oh here we go okay mm. If the last three movies were well received, do you think they would have taken any of the risk they may have taken with Mando and Book of Boba coming up? Mm, I mean, I think I kind of see. I, I see where he's going with that, but no. If you're asking me, I think they would have done it anyways. 
Yeah, they would have done it anyways. How's your husky? She's good. Thanks. I'm gonna throw a fit if they don't scrap the sequels. I'm probably gonna throw a fit then. Yeah, I'll have to calm you down. If you think I won't rewrite the sequel trilogy without watching them first to prove anyone could have done better, you're wrong. Ah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I bet an AI could do better, to be honest. You just do one of those AI like mad lib things. I'm curious about this new sequel about this new trilogy, but I am more hyped for you and Josh's discussion about it. I'm already entertained though. That's good. At least we're doing our job. Yeah. Having a Skywalker movie without palps feels weird. Mm, not really. Bro, they're going to lose me real quick if they bring Palp back again. Like, Could you I'm going to be like, you know, all that nice stuff. I Yo, said. dude, look, he transferred his essence as he was falling down the shaft in episode six. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who's to say he didn't transfer his essence again? As, okay. as Ray was, was beaming him with his own lightning, which he already did in episode three. You know, it would be really hypocritical of me to do this whole discussion the way I did. Could you imagine? And then to turn around and say, no thanks, fam. But I'm going to pull that no thanks, fam lever because I don't want that. Episodes 10, 11, 12. Palpatine returns again. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like Tropic Thunder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've yeah, been at the military... Boy? Um, oh, 53% say they want it. That's wild. But it's only 948 votes. So, I mean, yeah, if I did it on my actual community nah, tab... It well, might... maybe it'd be different on the community tab. But honestly, once you get... Dude, I'd be... I'll watch it. I'd be down. Like, I mean, I'll watch is, it. Like, that's a decent sampling size. It won't actually... It shouldn't, unless people are just, you know, trolling. It shouldn't actually be that far off of what you get in the first thousand. Right. Right. That's you know what that is though split right Thanks, down the middle pretty much, which is better than I thought it would be actually. Uh, we need some movies on series that focus on the Imperial forces, make it as gritty or emotionally conflicting as some of the fan shows, for example, Bucket Heads, or the same feeling as those during that episode in Mando with Bill Burr. Yeah, that'd be cool. They need to get a little more daring, I think. Yeah, and, yeah. and I think they're doing that, so I'm excited for it. Thanks for that that sixty man. Uh, Josh is allowed to have his own opinion, guys. Also, I think the sequels can be better given the same context that the prequels got. I'm all for it. Says Sam. Snoke's missing hair piece. Hear me out. Ray looks at Sheev's research to study the her heritage and uses it to resurrect Ben, but she becomes closer to the dark side. Dude, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. I want. I've. I wanted Ray to go dark so bad, bro. I wanted her to go dark. Yeah. Just kill off Ray and Finn and Poe all at once at the beginning of episode 10 and then do something brand new. Yeah, you could absolutely do something like that. You could, or that. Yeah. You could kill Ray. I mean, like, you could, you know what I mean? Like, you could absolutely do that. You could figure that out. Lord Callus, what's up, my man? Thanks for the five. Matthew Where's Jones it? says we need Disney to fire and hire people who know what Star Wars is and what they're doing. The team doesn't know barely how to use their brain at the moment. I can make ideas and movie story right now with no problem. Yeah, I'm with you on that. The next three should start with, you know what? I think they know what they're doing. They're just not allocating the right people to do it. That's all. And and the right people, you know, I, it's it's even uh, hypocritical of me to say because it's not like I hold the book of truths for what is right and wrong. Mm -hmm. The next three should start with Ray going to Jedi temples and sacred Force temples and have Ray study and learn the Force to bring Ben back. Then go on. Yeah, but then don't you think that's just too much of like episodes just trying to bring people back from the dead? Well, look, it can't just be that. Obviously, that would suck. Nobody wants that. You'd have to have a compelling reason. There'd have to be something going on that would cause that to happen. You know what I mean? But and that therein lies the problem, right? That's the difficulty of writing, you know. But if you had the right story, then I'm for it. You know what I mean? But if you if it's just like if if like he shows up and he's like, ah, I wasn't really dead, right? What's up? You know, and she's like, Oh, Ben, what's up? Right. Ben? No, right. like, come on, of course not. 
I saw someone said theory needs glasses, so I'm just gonna put my glasses on. There you go. Dick. Put some rose colored glasses on, bud. Yeah, I have those, but then I'd realize they're just douchey. <laughs> <laughs> uh josh thanks for the action figure humor we needed it if theory gets in your nerves that's how you do it thanks angelica always trolling me gage thanks and uh conrad says maybe lucasfilm should do a virgin's shattered world between worlds tv series like marvel's what if and tell the stories from legends and infinities i'll be down hmm. what would you think if the next set of films took place like 100 years after the sequel trilogy a fresh start completely unrelated to any past films. I, I, that's actually, I would prefer that. Like, that is something that I would prefer. And then you could just use Ray as, like, like an older figure that isn't maybe isn't even yeah, right. around. And you can yeah. just, like, refer to her exploits. But I do love me some Ben Solo. You know what I mean? So if it, if it means getting Ben back and doing something like that, I'm kind of riding with that, you know? And then do the other one next. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I guess. What about something like a time jump that is produced with George Lucas? Uh, nah. I don't think so. I think she's going to What? <laughs> what the hell? Uh-huh. Uh, can we get a real 79 first? Yeah, true. Maybe you will, though. Maybe you'll get it filled out like the Clone what? Wars filled out the prequel. Where did I skip your chat? Dude, nobody likes that guy. Just skip his chat anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I agree with Josh. The more positive connections to the sequels, the more we will able to draw some good stories out of it. If they forget six to nine, we are lost. Oh, I missed this one, too. I've been to military college since August 14th, and I haven't caught any of your content, but I'm glad to be able to watch this one. Love you, boys. Hey, love you, too, man. Thanks. Sorry, boys. I have my glasses on now, so. <laughs> Having a... Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, thanks, Maria. My fan film that I'm working on creating has the Force Ghosts of Ben's family and Yoda and Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, etc., all combine their powers to help Ray bring him back. It has to be something that is very hard to replicate, or it could be abused. Yeah. It would, but the thing would be like, why does he need to come back? You know what I mean? Like, why him specifically? Let's abuse Josh. I mean, hey man. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I? What? They're nah, dude. They're playing with you. They're playing with you. It's okay, guys. You skipped my super. What? Where? Dude, that guy's trouble too. You don't want to read his super chat, I'm gonna be honest. Dude, I'm probably just not there yet. Probably people just putting super chats in saying that you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I'm like reading stuff from like over an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um so I lost my shot. Dun dun dun. Man, you know, I'm really proud of the Star Wars fandom. You know, I knew this was going to be a, a weird combo. And, you know, everybody showed up and, and did their best and brought a positive attitude. And you guys are all right out there. You Story know? of Kylo Ren and his path to the dark side. Yeah, I'm down with that. Uh, one other fact is, even if they hired George Lucas back, it won't change the fact how to make Star Wars good. There's plenty of smart people who know how. No, I think if you bring George back, it'll be good. Yeah, I think it'd be a really good idea. Ethereum, Josh, it'd be nice if we waited on possibly doing episode 10, 11, 12. Let there be some time in between instead of rushing production. I mean, look, they could go back in time and show like so many different parts of the prequels and originals and all that. Yeah, man. If they, I mean, they're obviously, <clears throat> they have to have, they 100% have to have a plan and they have to address the problems of the sequels. Like, in no reality am I just going to ride with it if, like, it feels like that same old song and dance. Like, I, I, I feel like that goes without saying, but, you know, I see a lot of people kind of bringing that up. It's like, to me, that's obvious. They would have to bring it, and they would have to answer these questions and the skepticisms that people had. I mean, that's obvious to me. Right. Turn it. 
trying to listen to my uh... Uh, dude. Kinda... Why does my mic sound like Donkey Dong? I don't know. To me, honestly, what? it sounds fine. It could, dude, it really could just be this software. That software sucks, dude. Sounds like I'm in a toilet. Yeah, that's not good. <sighs> Great. That's not good. That's not good. Yay. Someone get the TVA to purge the sequel timeline. <laughs> uh, the sequels ruined so much. Everything leading to them is, in the end, is tragic for Star Wars. Make them legends. There is no hope. Y'all ship Yadel and Rose for real those sequels? Yadel and Rose? Of course, dude. The freakiest stuff you've ever seen, man. In the Twi'lek baths. Y'all ship you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, or Disney should retcon the whole new trilogy and have Dave Filoni remake it. Yeah, yeah but, uh, you know, I feel like, yeah. Well. Dude, look at this. 56% of people said yes to the sequels. Let's go. Yeah, I'd be one of those 56. Did what? Sure, let's see it. How dare you? Doesn't mean I have to like it. True. <clears throat> True. The Polynesian Spa, yeah. Star Wars Episode Ten: Skywalker beats the dead horse. Hey, it's not bad. Do you think Grogu alive during the sequels? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And beyond. Do you keep up the amazing work, dude. During the sequels, Grogu's like a hundred. No, he's like eighty. No. Yeah, he's not old. He's, at he's all. like seventy-five. He's like one tenth of his lifetime old. So not even. He's like one twelfth. Yeah, he could absolutely be a big character in it, whatever they would do next if they would yeah keep up the amazing work guys so glad that two like-minded star wars fans are finding much success such success with this platform much love from toronto hey thanks dude that's a really nice comment thank you for sure um i don't know if we're like-minded <laughs> yeah i guess in some kind ways of. in some ways yeah, in some ways i mean we're boys yeah. um i low-key dig the ben's soul in ray idea like bones and spock in star trek they could do a search for Spock Star Wars version. Yeah, I mean, I've thought about that too. <laughs> the search for Ben. Yeah, but I just, look, I don't know. Look, who knows? Who knows how they could do it? And I'm sure there's a ton. Of, I'm sure they're thinking about that exact thing, you know? But um, I want to see him come back as like a, as a freaking god, bro. Like just make him way more OP. You know what I mean? And And, and give him some crazy stuff to try to to try to overcome that's what i'd want like a star killer level jedi you know what i mean where the hell was i i don't know what was the last thing i just said um you're talking about oh here okay uh i want to uh, some sort of tv uh, Y'all ship Riedel and Rose. How could I forget that one? Uh, I low-key dig, right? Okay, here we are. If we are going to get a new Star Wars episode movie, they need to have someone rise and take the Skywalker's family sabers in the stand and stand up. Imagine if Palpatine... Oh, in the sand. Mm -hmm. Right. Imagine if Palpatine's spirit went into Ben and Rey had to fight Ben instead with an epic duel or the other way around until one dies. No more Palpatine spirits. Yeah, no really. Won't Let's just move on. I really hope they don't use the world between worlds. I feel like that is super uncreative. I'm with you, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. I don't like time travel. Yeah. I loved Episode Nine, but it's the only good sequel film, and you used to love. So why don't you anymore? Ah, let me explain this again for the millionth time. Yeah, so when I saw Episode Nine, I was very happy with the fact that it retconned so much of Episode Eight, because I felt Episode Eight really just took a massive doo doo on luke's character Hot caca. yeah and so when episode nine just said no to all of that and literally he said the exact same things as episode eight but in reverse like the antonym of those things like a jedi's weapon deserves more respect catching the lightsaber raising the x-wing all of the stuff saying that he was wrong in episode eight so that made me really happy the fact that they brought palpatine back it was cool the way he died, I was like, okay, justifying it because all of the Jedi were powering Ray up. And I was like, okay, so I was happy with the amount of of what we could get with what we got. 
And then I, I, you know, once the rose-colored glasses came off, literally, I was like, huh, why did we have to get that, though? Why couldn't we get something a little different? There's so many other things we could have done, like this and this and this. And then my mind started to think that, hey, I don't have to be complacent with what we got. Why couldn't we have gotten something that had a little more um, story into it, a little, a little more methodology into it, a little more care into it? And then that's when I started to really be like, you know what, maybe this isn't really what I thought it was. Maybe this didn't have a plan from the very beginning. Maybe things aren't what I thought that they would be. And then the actors started to come out and say their own things, and then I'm like, damn, you know what? It's true. That's when it really started to fall apart for me, it was actually post-film when more of the stuff came out, yeah. and just more and more stuff came out, and you were just like, bruh. Like, yeah. to me, like, even Nine, like, Nine could have been so much better, and JJ just played it so cookie cutter safe with that movie it's so unfortunate yeah anyways i loved episode nine it's the only good sequel film okay right why don't you guys pay attention to the doomcock leaks okay we read that one uh thanks car box they already did time travel in star wars rebels when ezra puts ahsoka back into her timeline he says this time come find me he altered his timeline no because it was always altered because he always does that to know in a linear sense you think yeah for sure it's like the it's like the exact same thing we were talking about with the end game stuff except in uh, yeah Star right Wars, they don't have paradoxes in multi you know right it's just yeah. okay you so created a variant you think yeah they need to explain that a little better um thanks for being you and explaining we don't all have to shame the share the same opinions which reminds me i think you uh Luke Soka, baby. I can't believe the anime isn't getting more attention. I think it's going to be the best Star Wars media ever released. You know what? I had a question about that because there's some, like, there was this weird thing where they put it in under shorts and movies as opposed to television shows. And I'm wondering if some of these episodes are only going to be, like, 10 minutes long. And that's maybe why they're dropping many of them at once. What do you think about that? Yeah, they're all going to be short. You didn't know that? I don't think it's ever established the, the length of them. Yeah, they I, were going to be like 20 minutes max. Really? Where'd you hear yeah. that? Uh, I don't know, but I just remember storing it in my memory. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I was hoping for like that 24 to a half hour mark. You know what I mean? And now I think some of them might be 10 minutes. I mean, look, I'm still... Really I didn't hear 10 minutes. I heard 20. I think they could be pretty short, bro. At least a couple of them. A movie about Abeloth? What, you, you want to give me nightmares? I don't know about that. Why is Josh late? Yeah, why are you late, Josh? Dude, a wizard is never late. What are you I doing know. here? You're late. He arrives precisely when he means to. It's true. Do you think the Obi-Wan show will be Ewan's last? Maybe, but I'll tell you who it won't be. It won't be Hayden's last. That'd be nice. By the way, I read these two, these two or three already. So, I'm... here's more money now. Go all sub to the Knights of Melvin. Stop kidding yourselves. <laughs> Join the Knights of Melvin movement, or we will get another Ray Skywalker trilogy. Dude, sub to the Knights of Melvin. Yeah, man. I'm, dude. I'm so sorry, the Knights, that you had to hear me speak of this rumor. You know, it's blasphemy. It's treason. I know. Matthew Jones says, "Chat is lying, mind tricking you. Don't be weak. Don't be a weak." Don't be a week. Do y'all own any, any hot toys? Get any more? Yeah, I have some hot toys. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. That was a really cool super chat, by the way. The super sticker. Sam says, with three bucks, another super sticker. Thanks. Sheev Pal Protein says, I just tuned in, so you might have already covered this, but imagine if the saga is about the Thrawn trilogy or even an old Republic trilogy. Eh, I mean, look, I want those trilogies. Those seem like fun projects. I want all of it. But, uh, I mean, nah, man, like, what I'm hearing is, like, legit sequel continuation. Mm. So, Sloth Gaming says just because they're a super fan doesn't mean they can write good stories. Exactly. And just because they're a good writer doesn't mean they can write good Star Wars. Detecto Gamer with another sticker. Big Stevie W says, Josh, tell us George Lucas is coming back without actually telling us he's coming back. I can't, I can't. Look, it's speculation. I'd love for it to be the case. I know he's involved with uh, 
and or but it could just be that they're used some characters that maybe he never used before and so they have to give him writer's credit or something but i mean i've seen i've seen things and i think he's involved in Andor in some way and look apparently doomcock is saying that george is coming back to star wars and that he's been more involved uh in star wars so take that for what you will that'd be nice dude um theory can you please say give me rent how come you give him rent but not me you'll get your damn rent when you fix this damn door <laughs> baby tooth with 99 cents he doesn't say anything damn. satan's foreskin put the poll up all right thank you thank you Appreciate yeah how'd that go for you satan's foreskin <laughs> <laughs> uh who do you think is the most powerful being in all of star wars from all of canon from all of canon or he means like just all of whatever what's he talking about uh, well it depends if they keep going with luke's trajectory from mando uh he could be the most powerful yeah i'd say luke's on his way um but uh, if not then palpatine yeah or maybe even ben i don't know no no i think so ben's strong but he's not that strong Bro, I think he's. I think the story of Ben. This is what I always felt about Ben. I felt like in the Force Awakens, you see him do stuff that's incredible, effortlessly. But just like all humans, his own worst enemy is himself. And when he becomes unsure of himself, when he you know kills his father, he thinks it's gonna make him really strong. It breaks him, and he's basically a he's a little whiny baby at the end of that movie. But had he actually been like, if he would have actually been stoic like and like found that place i think he could potentially be stronger than Luke. keep dreaming i'm a dream on keep dreaming I'm a dream on. i watched the rise of skywalker again and i noticed they did a rough copy of the eternal empire storyline from the old yes mm -hmm. i think you would enjoy the campaign storylines a lot dream on. godbuster armor versus luke oh luke no problem not even a question. I just wanted you all to see my screen name, Raylo Binks. <laughs> right on, bro. Right on. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see where it goes. By the way, guys, you're not going to hear anybody else talk about this for a long time. I mean, we'll see, but I don't think so. I think there's a lot of people that actually know about it that are purposely not talking about it. That's what I think. I don't know, bro. Something like that is like... I don't know. It's pretty big. Uh, I just tuned in, so you might have already covered this, but imagine if Disney started canonizing the legends and made a bane. Oh, God, please. Make me excited. <laughs> I did. It was very funny, Angelica. Very funny. Well, uh, I had a super chat that came a fair bit before the one about cake that you skipped, my good sir. Oh, so sorry. Dang. Ah. Damn it, you guys, now I want cake. Okay, there's the first one. <laughs> ah, could we ever see the afterlife of the Force, a realm where all the Force ghosts live? It could let us see Luke, Ben, and... An oh, yeah, that's something I've been wanting forever. Really? That'd be so cool. Yeah. A show about the netherworld of the Force, like <laughs> their day-to-day -day stuff? I don't know, it might be pretty boring. What if it was exactly like Luke's tasks on Octu? Did I not read any of these? What? Like, I'm sure I did. Force goes. I don't remember reading these. No, I no, I did. General theory is always a pleasure. I'm with you. I walked out of the theater, but yeah, no, I read Ben put his soul in Ray. Yeah, no, no, I read these. Okay, wait, did I read Callista's? Uh, I don't know, sir. I don't know what she said. Pretty sure I did. For sure, at all these. You yeah, know, these are old. Movies. Oh yeah, that was an Fand old. One. Fandom saved. Star Wars back on track. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, where the hell was I?
<laughs> yeah, the forest ghost. I feel like the forest ghost thing would be pretty boring. It's called Star Wars, not Star Nirvana. They're all just chilling. They should make a show about Sith Acolyte during the Old Republic training at the Sith Academy on Corbin. They could do so many cool stuff, man. Yeah. I always thought the sequels would have been better suited with Leia and Luke as the main Jedi, as the original six films were mainly Anakin's story. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the, well, the sequels were supposed to be about Leia. Well, I mean, that was a, episode 10 or 9 was supposed to be with Colin Trevorrow's, which was, I thought, a really nice script. Mm -hmm. Here's awesome ideas. Make Ray join a new dark side master, then make Finn and Poe the four sensitive users and have two new names. Yeah, but look, if, if Ray joins a dark side master, that would undermine her journey in The Rise of Skywalker because she was fearful of turning to the dark side. So it's kind of like she already had that, you know, scare and she overcame it. So it's like now she's not. It's like, what, what would happen? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, dude, it, I don't know how they would do it. I, like, it, you start to think about it and you're like, bro, they are in a rough spot. You know what I mean? Um, but it's like writing a good Superman story. Like, it's really difficult to write a good Superman story because not a lot of things challenge him. You know what I mean? And so yeah. the, the juice is figuring out how to take that character and put them in a situation that is complex and enriching to their character arc. You know what I mean? So I don't know how, you know, God bless the person that comes up with a story that would be good enough. What if the future timeline, the knowledge of the force has been lost in the galaxy? Then there is a rediscovering of the force to tell a new beginning. Bro, I just thought of something. What if they bring Ben back, not as Ben, but as Kylo? Like, if there's like dark acolytes that want to bring him back and they resurrect him like that, that would be kind of sick. That'd be dope, dude. That would be kind of sick. That would be dope. Make him an. Some like dope. loyalists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some Vader loyalists came back. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy. Because he's just sitting there. Wow. That'd actually be sick. Because he's kind of on that Sith planet, too. He's just chilling there. He's just chilling on Exegol, and they just, like, come around, and they're like, okay. Yeah. That'd yeah. would be kind of nice. nice. But, they, 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 yeah. But, I mean, they... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just so many theories going through my mind. It's, it's like a whirlwind. They don't, don't know what's going on. Just too many things, and... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, but the, the problem with that is that they're gonna, they know that he was trying to kill Palps. So, uh, yeah, 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 uh, for sure. Unless they're gonna try to use him as a conduit for Palpatine to come back again. And then in that case, I'd be like, come on. Yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty whack. Come on. Okay, moves an idea that would never happen, but Ray and Finn find a descendant out of a Kaminoan cloner and find DNA from Jedi ever in a Jedi enclave. Hmm. Make my waifu Bastila real, please. Okay. It's it done. It's like an anime term for best girl. Mm. The Yuzon Vong is now in canon as the Grisk Hedge Money. Mm -hmm. That would be the best scenario, in my opinion. Josh, diet force powers equals super Thanos OP. Yeah, could be. Could be. What if Anakin met Sandman from Spider Man? <laughs> and Josh, we will need a Thanos baddie. Hmm, who could that badass be? Maybe someone that was successful at immortality. Yeah. Bro, I didn't know Thanos was a few thousand years old. Oh, yeah, he old. I don't know if he's thousands of years old, but he's old. But you never know, because like they've changed him a lot in the MCU. Like he's an Eternal with a deviant gene in the comics, but the Eternal said that they only interfere when a deviant is involved. So like maybe he's not a deviant now. I don't know. Do you think we'll see him again? Who Thanos? Yeah. Oh, for sure, bro. It's comics. Yeah, he'll be back on in Secret Wars. He'll be back. Maybe they'll even do an Infinity Saga. He's already been back in What If. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, yeah. 
In my opinion, new abilities like force skyping and force healing disrespect the prequels by ignoring that we didn't see any of those powers used or even referenced by some of the greatest Jedi of all time. Mm -hmm. I wanted to thank you personally, Theory. I'm dyslexic and have a very hard time reading, and you helped me understand Star Wars lore. Oh, that's good. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Thanks for watching. We've got a movie about Abloth. I like the sequel trilogy, but if they can fix any issues for the next trilogy, then that would be good too. If Palps comes back, then he's a clone. Ah, I've had enough of Palp coming back. Yeah, I don't want Palp coming back. They can do something fun, though. They can do something fun like that. Uh, hey, can you say your opinion on every ship in the galaxy jumping from higher space at the same time without any bot? What? Can you say your opinion on every ship in the galaxy jumping from higher space at the same time without any body crashing? I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you understand it? No. Can you say your opinion on every ship in the galaxy jumping from higher space? Do you mean hyperspace at the same time? Confused. Oh, talking about. Um, imagine if Disney started canonizing. Didn't did did you send that again, Chiefs? As much as I dislike episode eight and nine, do you think Luke's return would have been so impactful that the way it was, if he hadn't lived through episode eight and nine first? Do you think Luke's return would have been so impactful the way it was if we hadn't lived through? What? I think he's talking about the Mando return. Oh no, I don't think. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have been as impactful, but it's still dope either way. No, I don't think I would have. Uh, I probably wouldn't have cried. Yeah, probably honest. not. Yeah. I cried because it was like seeing an old friend that I thought was dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could the Mandoverse be setting up Mara Jade and some kind of Force Vision sensor and her unborn Skywalker child into a self-imposed exile until 10? Uh, sure. Sounds kind of fun. It does that sound fun. Has to whoop him or something. I just wanted you all to see my screen names as Ray Livings. Uh, thanks, Izzy. What is Anakin? What if Anakin met Sandman from Spider Man? Here we give his pants. Yeah, Did you send that really twice? Like a lord? He'd be really scared, especially if he had the high ground. Indeed. Okay, chat, we're going to wrap it up. So uh, send in your last messages and. And we'll call it a dizzy. We appreciate it. Josh sounds so wise, unlike theory. <laughs> I try. I just have a wise cadence. Star Wars nerd says you missed my super chat. I'm sorry about that. Um, hey, theory thoughts on a Star Wars what if show where they use the Mortis gods on world between worlds like the Watcher seeing but not interfering with potential events. I read that one. That'd be fun. I had read this one. That could work. Yeah, that could work. It's essentially what Star Wars was supposed to be, but they were just watching past events. Yeah, that's that was the idea of the story through the journals of the wills. Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe remake the sequels in 3D animation and the story right with the original characters. Hmm. That'd be interesting. That would be kind of interesting. Is it just me or did you guys just find about the Bendu with the Sith and Jedi Galaxy's Edge holocrons? I didn't find out about that. I'm going to take Josh as a no. Cal Katarn should have been in Rogue One. Sub to the Knights of Melvin for more future Star Wars updates. <laughs> Screw it. The afterlife of the Force somehow gets threatened, despite being this harmonious realm, and Luke, Ben, and Anakin have to save it. The afterlife of the Force somehow gets threatened. Kind of weird. I don't want Disney to make a new Star Wars trilogy until John and Dave replace Kennedy. Kennedy's a producer. She just shouldn't be hiring people anymore, though, I don't think. What if Disney made George Lucas trilogy and named it Lucas Files, the trilogy with Darth Maul, like the Snyder Cut, but Star Wars? Yeah, that'd be cool. Josh? Yeah, sorry, I saw something that was kind of crazy. Got distracted, my bad. 
What? Care to share? Uh, I don't know if people are going to get it, but uh, yeah, something Des, Des Bryant said. Apparently, the NFL is banning NFL. Oh, it's not Star Wars? No, 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 no. I saw it pop oh, up okay. on Twitter. We are supposed to believe Palpatine and Dark Side users are actual Sith are so strong, but we've never seen it besides that bit of Palpatine was in Rise of Skywalker. Well, yeah, they were also strong in the fact that they were cunning, like Palpatine was, and he was very patient. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. Have you watched the Star Wars The Old Republic <clears throat> MMO trailers or played the game? It Those has trailers eight are sick, dude. Yeah, they're pretty sick. They were ahead of their time. It has eight storylines to play through. They're pretty dope. I have seen them. They're awesome. Joseph Lewis, thanks. Ben Snow. Yeah, every now and then the mic goes whoa, but otherwise fine. Also, Josh's camera is still looking nice. He knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I actually don't. <laughs> we need to Star Wars. What if they should bring back Lucas to write and direct? He's getting up in there and up there in age. They can also say Disney is a longer canon and uses stories. They could. They could do a lot of things. <laughs> Yo, you are so funny, man. Bless your hearts, man. They could do a lot of things. I wish, you know, every time I played Monopoly or Clue, I wish I sat down with people that thought they'd actually retcon the sequel trilogies. That You know what I mean? Just because I love to dominate. love to crush those kind of games. Where are you people in my real life? What if they renumbered the sequel trilogy 10 to 12 and use George Lucas' original treatment as 7 to 9 based on what George has revealed it would work? I don't think they would ever do such a thing. Would... Rather, they bring Darth Krayt back into canon as the new villain. It's this Chapman. Darth Krayt, yeah, yeah, that would be pretty badass. I mean, he's been there since essentially the beginning, like so, since the prequels. He fought Anakin. Um, yeah, would be cool. Autocorrect, my bad. What do you think in Episode Nine? how Lando managed to bring every ship in the galaxy to Exegol within hours from hyperspace and no oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah right pretty pretty clever pretty clever you gotta be like you know because if you're if you have a gun and you're aiming and you're freaking one millimeter off by the time your bullet gets to the target it's like th four or five meters off let's say yeah depending how far it is let alone hyperspace if they are off by a freaking nano millimeter it's game over that that run the whole idea of that was like yeah. you have to go through this crazy thing to even get there so yeah it doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense yeah. what if disney made george lucas trilogy and named it lucas files the trilogy with darth maul yes, yes i'm down for it josh had me dying at the idea of all the jedi living in the nether world like luke on Oct two thanks for the great stream guys <laughs> thanks matthew for tuning in <laughs> who cares about 10 11 12 we need old republic Theory, why you get to pick on Josh, but not me? <laughs> you want me to pick on you? What do you mean? Uh, no, it's the Dr. Disrespect thing. How come you coach him, but not me? You know, no, I don't know. Educate me. What? You never know? That? I'll send you a video. No, 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 no. What, what, what is this? Dude, Doc has a, It's like this whole this thing. Is it It's a whole thing. Everybody, everybody's been chatting at him. And like it's now it's really starting to get crazy where people are coming up with really, really clever ones. But yeah, it used to just be, how come you coach him but not me? And now, like, people are changing it into, uh, how come you play, like, how you why come you, you do Kaka and not do D or something, you know what I mean? Like, I, stuff like I, that. I'm, I'm too old for these things. <laughs> Bro, you ain't ever too old for Dr. D. Come on, no, now. No, no. I watch them all the time, but I guess not enough. I'm a little obsessed. I like them a lot. Okay, uh, if not John, Dave, or George Lucas himself, who would you guys want to direct another trilogy? My topic would. Either be Spielberg or Christopher Nolan, uh, Quentin Tarantino. I would do Peter Jackson. Um, maybe, honestly, Rodriguez wouldn't be bad. I like Robert a lot. He's really, really talented. Um, or James Cameron would be kind of interesting. Cameron's pretty good. Invinco. 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 Sorry about that, my man. Let me get to it. Ah, I think they could do the whole heir to the empire thing without settling on whether they want to wreck on the sequels or not. Yeah, that's what I think too. I agree. They could just do that and they could have their sequels and you know they could create their 10, 11, 12 and whatever and then just do the Mando between um, 6 and 7 and, and do heir to the empire. Yeah. It would be sweet. Yeah. 
Would you consider inviting Lando Zabers to the charity stream? He's such a good guy, and cancer research means a lot to him personally. Um, probably not, dude. Uh, I have some plans for the charity stream, and I have a lot of people that want to be involved in that that I won't have them involved. So, uh, yeah, but I appreciate it, and uh, cancer means a lot to a lot of people as we've all either had it or um, lost a lot of people who have had it close to us. So... F cancer and let's let's hope to raise a lot of money mm -hmm. for some sick kids who need it. What if the brother grabbed Kylo as he died? Ooh, that's kind of dope too. You guys just tuned in. Are we serious about continuing sequel theories? Throw the whole thing away. Uh, what do you guys think about a show on Crimson Dawn? Be yeah, I. I mean that. I feel like Cal Kessis needs a TV series or to at least make a live action cameo. Love your vids, bro. Keep it up. I'd love to see him soon. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. Uh, oh, missed my second super chat, but no big deal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where is it? Can you tell me what you said, Christina? I don't know. I want to make sure that I get everyone. I don't want to leave anyone out. Ah, I'm all for new trilogy as long as Palpatine doesn't somehow return and they figure out how to repair, continue the Skywalker legacy. Skywalkers belong in Star Wars. So still ticked they killed Ben Solo. Ben Solo was the coolest freaking thing. Yep. Now they just got to figure out a viable way back. Mm. Kanan Jars will reportedly be reincarnated into a Yoda species and will go on to fight Plo Koon. Thoughts on what impact this will have on the DC Comics universe? It's a final crisis. Uh, I think that there should be a movie or something about the Battlefront 2 storyline. I think it was really good. Really? I, I didn't. I didn't at all. The new one? It's okay, there's some fun parts of it, but it's it's okay. No, I, I hate when Toro to direct a Star Wars movie. That would be hype, bro. I like that dude. Who? Benicio? Yeah. No, what? No, not Benicio. What? Not Benicio del Toro. Um, Guillermo. I don't know. Yeah, how to say Guillermo. It. Yeah, Guillermo. Uh, Josh, did you ever learn the dance Thrawn and Ezra will be doing together when they come back to the big screen? Yeah, it's the tango. They're working on it right now. The dance. It's going to be good. So hot right now. Well, I think that's it. So <clears throat> thanks, guys. I'm going to be going on my gaming channel in a little bit and streaming Dying Light with Tugs and X-Ray Girl. And uh, we're going to have fun. Josh, oh, what are you going to be doing? Please ask them about the, ben so the new Ben Solo uh, trilogy. I'd love to know their thoughts. What? Their, their thoughts on the... Who? The chat? No, those two that you're streaming with. Oh, the Ben Solo trilogy? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to know what they think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thoughts on how Ezra compares in power to Luke? Um, he's like Sebulba compared to Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> But Sebulba always wins, dude. <laughs> no. No. You I'm, will die. I'm betting heavily on that motherfucker. That dude always wins. Yeah, you're you 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 you're an Ezra fan. Uh if you could be in charge of one thing of Star Wars, what would it be? Um to see who carries on what project. Give me a trilogy about Grogu and I'll call it even. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do thanks, it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. Well, thanks so much for chilling with us tonight, and we'll catch you next Monday. I'll have a video out for you all tomorrow. And um, I'm missing anything. Make sure to subscribe to the Den of Nerds and, of course, Movie Bros, which is Josh and I's new channel, which has almost 15,000 subs already, and we couldn't be happier and uh, more humbled by you guys. We really appreciate it. We'll be having a stream tomorrow at 5 o'clock Pacific time. Yeah. 8 Eastern on Movie Bros. 
Oh, go subscribe yeah. right now. I watched a scary movie. I didn't. It wasn't that bad, actually. But it was... yeah, I made wash. Made wash. You made wash Josh over. I made. <laughs> I made Josh watch. Uh, Hellraiser. Yeah. What am I? Ugh. Yeah. Hellraiser. Yeah. Real fun. Yeah, and then I watched The Cell yesterday <laughs> with my wife J Lo. Yeah. That was a. F- that was an f movie, dude. Dude, I that heard. Was, that yeah, was I just heard that. whack. Heard about that. Super whack. You've never seen it? No. All right. Okay. Well, we love you guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks for chilling. And uh, we out. Peace. And you're sounding like.